What is going on, nerds? Today, I'm playing Torterra EX in the Late Night 179 tournament. And I'm assuming I'll be able to destroy some Charizards today, because I think I'm a pretty good matchup. Now, the tournament starts in about one minute. In the meanwhile, I'm going to post the link to my stream in my Discord server, which is in the description. It's not super active, but if I get more members, I could definitely have an active server, which would be great. So join that if you would like. And yeah, let's post it on my server. Awesome. Yeah, Terry X is definitely a fun deck. I don't expect to make phase two. I think it is gonna be a two phase tournament, but if I do, that'll be great. So we'll see what happens. But the tournament is going to start any second now. I'm gonna open up my chat now. Okay, there we go. No one's replying. That sounds good. Next turn. Tournament is about to start. Any second now. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> I just had a viewer tell me I sound like a drug addict. Or I look like a drug addict. Drug addict. Why do I look like a drug addict? <laughs> Someone messed me on Discord. That's funny. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why that would be. Anyway. <laughs> Tournament is going to start any second now. And then I can have some fun winning with Torterra. Which is going to be fun. I'm looking forward to this. So... How does Torterra work? I guess I should explain that. Starts out with Torterra EX. Which for grass energy is 30 free to my grass Pokemon play, which is pretty powerful. And it's 340 HP, which is huge. <coughs> then I play Whimsicott, which when we evolve, we heal all damage from our active grass Pokemon and then discard all energy from it. So then I just discard the grass and then attach it again. Which is really interesting to be able to do that. Um, and then, so I heal up, then I attach again to Torterra. I can also use Professor Toro Scenario to pick up the Torterra, power it up again, and I'm um, Grodal the engine, because the pre-evolution of Torterra, just search for a grass Pokemon every single turn, which is super useful. I've also got Rabska, which prevents all damage and effects of attacks on a bench Pokemon, and Toad Scroll, which prevents abilities and trainer cards from getting cards from the discard pot of hand. Which prevents things like Superior Energy Retrieval against Chi and Pal and Goldengo, which are both very good decks right now. Which is interesting. Anyway. Whimsicott is gas. Yes, it is, JDX. To wait till up to my guess. Oh, interesting. Well, the thing is, your grass deck before needed a lot of energy to power up, so I don't know if Whimsicott would work and the one I saw before from you, but, um. I'm surprised the tournament hasn't started yet. Normally it'll be started by now. Kinda interesting as to why that hasn't happened. Anyway. Once the tournament starts up, be great. There we go, and the match is up. I've been cooking, I'm telling you. Alright. Interesting. Arctina. I don't think this is a terrible matchup, considering they can't really one hit me. And I can just heal. I think this might be a pretty good matchup. I'm looking forward to this. This looks like it could be good. No, my opponent just needs to accept my friend request. Alrighty. Alright, accepted. Good luck with that. Awesome. I feel like I might have fought the person before. I don't know. At least the name looks familiar. I'm fighting someone named Bugatti Sauce. 
which is a name I recognize for some reason. Maybe he's done well at a tournament online or something. AT Pokemon. There we go. Set to have a challenge. Let's do this. Tails. Five times gas, but just in the deck efficiently use before you use a gloom, so soon. Gotcha. Interesting. Um I wanna go first. I feel like the second wants to go second because he uses TM evolution. Runs eleven energy, gotcha. That's an interesting grass box he got there. Alright, yeah, I think I do go second just because I have Arvin and Evo TM and stuff. Oh, that's not awful, but it's not very good either. Feels like it's still like Arvin, Evo TM and stuff. I'm thinking maybe it would have been better to go first, but I'm not sure. I just really like being able to Evo TM. But maybe it is better to go first. Hmm. No spoil is going to be a setup of the one. I wish Poffin could get my Turtwig. But it can't, sadly. Hmm. Okay. No spoil for Turtwig. If he gusts my Turtwig, I could be in trouble, and I think it is pretty likely that he's going to try and gust my Turtwig. Tat. Tat. Evolution. Hopefully he can't gust my chart wig, but I bet he's going to. Plus, he's the only speed cost stack you actually use in Lillian. Everything else is two, and you can build Toad School over time. Yeah. Although Toad School requires you to have energy on your bench, but. Yeah. Interesting duty X. No! He's probably gonna get Scarborough for double turbo and boss. Oh, he judges! Oh, I thought he was going to boss, because if he bossed my only Grodal, which he totally could have done, then I might have lost. Here's Kate fixed a lot. Yeah, I can see that in your deck. Whew. I'm glad he didn't gust me, because a gust would just be deadly. Alright, this is actually looking okay. Oh, and I guess getting the Lilligan V star off, but no path. Yeah. That got way better. Maybe it did, yeah. Interesting. The grass box is definitely cool. Yes, Paul, get a squirrel bed, okay. It's fine. Trinity Nova. Okay. Bring out the Grodo. I guess I have Poffin now. Poffin. Oh, come on. Is Cottony Prize? That's tough. I didn't want the Cottony to be a prize. That makes this a lot harder, actually. I need a Toad Scroll, but I also don't need a Rail I guess. I don't know. I guess I get the Toad Scroll. Just need a grass Pokemon down at this point. Sundra and Shell. Or Turtwin. Rival. Wow, Iona. Grass energy, please. There we go. Thank goodness. Nest ball for Turtwin. Nest ball for Kirkman. Pat. And I'll force Mark for 180. That's pretty good. If only I could have a. Um... Oh, I had a super rod. I could have super rod in Cotton. That was maybe a slight mistake. I don't know. I didn't even realize I could have super rod in Cotton there, but I could have. 
I think of that fact I already had super rod in hand. So yeah, I should have super rod and a cottony and a grass energy. That would have been a little bit smarter, but I didn't. And that could actually be tough because I'm really not set up right now. I'm going to need to get a really good top deck here. Gonna ultra ball, okay. This is scary for sure. Judd, that does give me a new hand, which is good. I'm really wishing I got the cottony down when I had the chance. But I didn't, and that's tough. Death stash, okay. That's fine. Yeah, I should definitely super rod doing cottony and that's bought it down. That would have been important. And now I'm starting to fall behind a little bit. Gotta get my healing ready. And that also requires me to find my pieces for healing. Which is easier said than done. Vessel's pretty good. Vessel away, Reller. Double grass, I guess. Sundant Shell. Got another Grodel, might as well. Let's completely fill my feeler, I guess. Rob Scott. Use again. I guess I can get a Toad Scroll. Or I could get a Torterra, but I'm gonna get a Toad Scroll, I think. Not like the Toad Scroll itself is that helpful, but it's good to have. A Forest Mark for not Cow. That's pretty good. This is still imperfect, but it's better than it was. If I can pull Cotney out of the prizes, that would be great. Yes, I pulled Cotney out of the prizes. That's good. That's very good. That really helped. I'm still not in the best position, but it's a lot better than I was. He already fails. Sides are draw some cards. Oh man, I got the hiccup. Sorry. <laughs> Aroma. Heads. Ultra ball. For Arceus V. Trinity Nova. That's a KO. Which is not ideal, but it's okay. Alrighty. At least I two hit him and I can heal him between the hits as well. Put down Cottony. On Grodel. Torterra. Yeah, I can't speak. Torterra EX. Oh, Grudel. I'll get a win this cod, I think. Just thin it out. And then I'll hit for 180. That's pretty good damage. Feels good. Charon, that sucks. Sharon's real tough. It definitely makes it harder on me. It's not awful, it's just harder. Well, that's tough. Okay. At least I can heal. Evolve. 
Heal. Hat. I guess I'll send her in shell, sure. Got not out of grass Pokemon. Iona. I'm gonna need to find myself a Turo. That could help me find a Turo. Also rod me and a caught me. Super rod in. Grass caught me. And Torterra, I guess. I'm gonna use this for a cottony. I'm gonna need to find a Turo next turn if I can. Do this. Just hit for damage. Okay. Promise Turo discards the energy, and I'm gonna need another energy if I want to attack again. Maximum bell. Oh, that's tough. Wait, that's not actually a KO, is it? No, it's not a KO. It's close to a KO, but it's not quite a KO, actually. So maybe it's not as bad as I thought it was. I thought I was being KO'd, but I'm actually not. Judge? That could be good or bad. I'm not sure which. Mmm, there's no Turo there. That's a problem. So close to KOing me, but thankfully he didn't. Now where is it getting rid of the energy from? Yeah, the active, that's what I thought. Turo! That's not a Turo. Well, I'm guessing I'm not gonna be healing. I'm just gonna have to kinda sit there in a tough position where I don't have healing. And then he's gonna start gusting around me, most likely. So this is not an ideal situation for sure. I probably could have had a Turo off the Poking Gear before, but oh, there's Turo. Of course, I'm fine. I can switch. Awesome. And I have a Turo as well, which is pretty good. Not needed yet, but good. Might as well get a Torterra. I'm not going to evolve to it, so I'm just going to get it. And I'll Forest Mark for Knockout. <laughs> Kelly, I found the switch in time. That was awesome. Boss is pretty good. This is looking alright, actually. Now, a gust could be scary, but I'm not too worried about it. Oh, there's a gust. Oh, no. How many bosses have he used? Only one. That's not as many as I was hoping he would have used. But now all I have to do is gust past my Torterra and boss. Yeah, I've got past my Torterra with the boss, and he just wins. Lost City as well, ugh. I was really hoping he couldn't find the Gust there. Because that might have given me a chance, if he had missed the Gust. Tough. So, I still have a small chance, but it really relies on him not finding boss, which I feel like is unlikely. When he got such a thin deck, and he plays three boss. But this has definitely been a close game. I could technically try to boss some Viverell or Squobat. I don't actually hate that idea. I think that's correct to do, actually. Boss, Viverell. And knock it out. Okay. Interesting. Now I just gotta make sure he doesn't have boss. If he has boss, he wins, so we'll see. Problem is I'm out of Gus, so that's another tough thing. Guess it's time to see if he has boss. I shouldn't have evolved this Torterra. I should have used a Grodol to get another Whimsicott available. But it made sense to be able to easily find the Whimsicott, whereas I can't do that now. Although I guess it's actually three hitting me, so it might not matter. So I definitely messed up slightly. 
because uh, I can't turret it without finding grass energy, and I don't have grass energy right now. Iona. So Arvin gets me a vessel for a grass energy, but I can't. Don't have Whimsicott because I left my. Oh, actually, no, I can't turret and do that. So that's my mistake because I can't vessel for the grass energy and also turret. Because if I had left the Grotal there, I could have at least tried to Whimsicott. But now I can't. So I guess I still Arvin. And that can get me Vessel. But then I don't have game. Because I don't have a Grotal to search out the Whimsicott to heal. If I had Grotal here, I had not neglected to... Yeah, I messed up. Definitely having Grotal here would be better. Now he doesn't KO me with Arceus, so he does have to find a V-Star. Which is possible he can't find it. He has to find a V-Star or a boss here to win. Pretty much. Attach this here in case he tries to stall me, and I'll just hit him. Because he can't knock me out with the Arceus. He's out of Arc V Star, isn't he? I think. He, I don't think he is. Oh, uh, maybe he is. He plays. Yeah, he is out of Arc V Star. You're right. So he can't actually knock me out with V Star. He needs to find a boss right now. If he does not find a boss, the game's over for him. Nestash, no okay. He's retreating, as expected. And then I'm gonna power it until I assume. And then I'm gonna Turo to heal. Yep. So then I Turo. Awesome. Turo. Down. Attach grass to the active. And I'll hit for 180. There we go. He needs a um, boss now to win. No way I win this, right? He has three boss that he plays. I'm surprised he hasn't even found one yet. But if he doesn't find a boss, I might win. So we'll see. No way he hasn't found a boss, right? I don't know. <gasps> it's not a boss, though. I'm on 30. That's not enough. Wait, I win! I just knocked him out! <laughs> yes! I'm surprised I didn't retreat to Arc B. <laughs> that was close! Wow! That's crazy. <laughs> oh my gosh! I can't believe I won that. That's insane. How? I know, right? How? How? <laughs> how does that even happen? I don't know how I won that. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm surprised he didn't retreat to the other Arceus. Just to survive one more turn. <laughs> what? How does that even happen, bro? Oh my gosh, I don't know how I won that. Alright, let's see. If you look at the metagame, there's 36 Charizard, which is a lot. This is a huge late night, bigger than most. But yeah, 36 Charizard in this tournament. And there's definitely a good mix of Bibarel and Pidgeot Zard. It's weird to me how they don't list them as separate decks. Like, they list different Lost Boxes as separate ones. And they list different controls as, like, Bird Control versus Sorlax Stall. But they don't list the difference between Zards. So it's really weird to look at Zard lists and compare the lists when there's both Bibarel and Pidgeot Zard. So it's really hard for me to compare what's good about these lists, considering they're going to be half a different deck. Next popular is Qian Pao. Qian Pao is, um, I guess it's a pretty good deck, for sure. It's for sure a pretty good deck, but I don't know how great it actually is. It seems okay. It definitely is more powerful than it used to be, but 
the consistency is an issue with this deck. Anyway, let's look at the um cards. 1.46 Cypher Maniac. I really like the 2 Cypher Maniac. I just think because it's such a useful card to get whatever you need. It's so worth playing multiple. I need to update my record for y'all, actually. Let me do that real quick. Show you guys that I'm one of... Um, yeah. Cypher Maniac 1.46. Kind of interesting. Um, now I want to play 4 Poffin. I really do like 4 Poffin, but I see why it might not be necessary. Yep. Palkia, I'm glad it's only one in the decks, or I guess two of the decks, because Palkia is not that great. Some people think it's good, but I don't think it's that great in the deck, personally. Iron Bundle was more popular than I expected to make your opponent switch, but it is a pretty powerful card to have. I don't hate it. And the rest is pretty standard. I guess there's a few people with Luminion and some people with Kyogre. I like this Kyogre. It can snipe 180, but it puts the energy back to our hand for you to use next turn. If it discarded it, it wouldn't be nearly as good. Very interesting. Anyway. Next up is Future Hands. Um, hmm. 0.7 Mewi X in Future Hands. That's interesting. I didn't really... Think of future hands playing Mewi X, but I guess it's looking pretty popular. I've never seen that. Um, the Iron Leaves, Maridon, and Iron Boulder, like all of the things. That one's weird as well. All the future Pokemon, other than Iron Hands and Iron Crown and Maridon, do not need to be in this deck. Any other future Pokemon is not worth it. Just stick with the hands, it's more consistent. Poffin de definitely increased consistency. And Chi and Pao, I'm sure it does, yeah. I also really like Ditto. I didn't actually see how many of them played Ditto. Only one of them plays Ditto, it looks like. That's weird. I actually really like the Ditto. Because you can pop and forward and then switch into a Chi and Pao and it comes active. Which seems like a really good. I mean, you can start with a Chi and Pao much more easily. Anyway. It's interesting how popular Future Hands is. I don't think it's as good as its popularity seems to show. Lost Box. Um, Lost Box is good, but one thing I don't like that a lot of people are playing is the Hoopa EX. Sure, it one hits an Arceus, but it still doesn't feel necessary. Moon also one hits Arceus. I just don't think the Hoopa EX is all that great, personally. Um, people want to have her play more than one moon is interesting. Also, around three Buddy Buddy Poffin. I think three is probably the correct number for a Lost Box to get your confies down. Don't hate four, though. It feels more consistent. Yeah. You don't like Ditto? Gotcha. Alright, y'all. I'll be right back. I don't think I took my medicine this morning, so I gotta go do that real quick. I forgot. Okay.
Alright, I am back. Okay. So. Hmm. I'm gonna make an interesting poll. It's not completely related to Terra. Ah, maybe I will do one related to Terra. I'm curious if y'all actually think Tartara is good. So I'm gonna make a poll on that. I'm curious if y'all think not just is Tartara good, is Tortera meta? Which is an interesting question. I'm sure I'm gonna get some people saying yes. It's because it is actually pretty solid. It's better than I might have thought it would be. Interesting seeing you don't like Ditto and Sark. I don't know. I thought it was pretty good, but maybe it's not necessary. It is true, it's dead for most of the game. But Chi and Pao prefers to get a fast setup if it can. All right, one sec, I just got the doorbell ring. I wanna make sure it's not important. Sorry, people came with the who are gonna fix the fence were asking if they could park in the driveway. We're building a fence. Or we actually built it, but they had an issue with it. Anyway, sorry. I'm back though. Alright. Anyway, there's 15 seconds to the next match, which is cool. Very soon we'll be getting into it. And let's see if Tartara can win again. We'll see for sure. It seems like it's not as bad of a deck as I thought it was, but it's not amazing either. Oh, excuse me. It's got some issues for sure. All right. Come on, start up match. It looks like there's a judge call going on. I think Tartara's meta, I'm curious how it plays competitively. Yeah, I am as well. It seems all right, but I agree that it probably isn't meta. It's definitely cool and it's about to be, it would be hilarious if I made phase two. It would be hilarious. I don't think it's gonna happen, but we'll see. By the way, phase two, if you get um, to be in the top 32 players by the end of the first nine rounds, then you make phase two, which is another four round or another five rounds. And then there's top eight. Top eight players move on to another three rounds. Just a lot of rounds today, for sure. Anyway, come on, match, start up. I don't like judge calls taking so long. Some of our judge calls that take a little while. All right. So, Gardevoir EX. I don't know if this is a good matchup or not. It seems like it could be a tough one, but it also doesn't seem like it's awful. So we'll see. I'm very interested to see how this matchup goes.
Pokemon game load up. My phone looks like they haven't showed up yet, so I gotta just wait for them to show up. There they are. They just checked in, which means they should be accepting our request soon, most likely. Cream Tap talks for you, you gotta get wrapped so quick. Yeah, exactly. I gotta get wrapped real quick, essentially. Although also, I won't hit them every turn, they won't hit me every turn, so it's kind of even. So I'm not actually too worried about it. Well, Bowman has accepted the friend request and is restarting, which is good. There we go. So my fun challenge, good luck to him. Alrighty. Phil never fails, right? I think I gotta go second here. I don't know if it's wrong for me to try and go second every time, but I feel like turn one TM Evo is so important. Yeah, that's a good hand. That's a really good hand. So this Drifloon, okay. Time to see how set up he gets. The normal thing is I'm evolving my bench and all my active, which actually can make things somewhat tougher. I do gotta get the rail or I'll get. I don't need a bunch of Turtwigs or Torteras, right? I can get the rail or and the Cottony, I think, and that will be fine. Maybe that's wrong, but I think that's correct. Just get rail or and Cottony. And then I can evolve the relator to a raptor. But then if he knocks on my good all in the trouble, so I guess I gotta get a church wig. I can always get the cottony in just a set. Catch. Catch. Evolution. All of these two. There we go. That's all right set up. It's not perfect, but it's all right. I don't dislike it. Orvin, okay. Looks like he's TME Boeing. I could try to TM Evo myself again, because I have another one. I'm definitely not getting an attack since I don't play Candy. So I'll actually try and TM Evo a second time. I think I'll be correct to do. Kind of weird, but I think it is correct. Well, there's some Curlius. Yeah, I think I am going to TM Evo again. So that means I'm just going to get basics here. Do I need the Toad's Cruel? I guess I don't. Definitely need a Cottony. Maybe I get another Short Twig? Well, I guess I get Grotal for the active. And that Grotal gets me another Short Twig.
catch TM Evo. Use TM Evo. Well, Grodel and Reller. This is looking pretty good, actually. <laughs> okay. I feel pretty set up. I don't even know if he's going to knock me out, to be honest. He's going to have to get four energy in the discard. Jello, or he's going to have to get three in. He already has one in. And he's going to have to find a Gardevoir X. No way. One energy is 60 damage. Yes, no, never mind. All he has to find is Gardevoir X. I forgot one energy is 60 damage because it's two counters. It's not 30 for energy, it's 30 for counter. Each energy is two counters, so yeah. Catch manually? Really? That's interesting. Does that mean he doesn't have the Gardevoir X? Or does that mean he has it? He's just trying to get more energy than his card when his Rift Wounds knocked out? I don't know. I'll probably find some of the X he's looking for, but we'll see. Ooh, Whimsicott. I like that. Poffin. Definitely set up. It's interesting how he plays 10 Psychic Energy. I didn't expect him to play quite that much. The Cat for Catcher. Hmm. Huh. Where's your God of REX, buddy? What? I don't know how he didn't find it. That's surprising. For a good tour. Good real tour. For Torterra. Grow tour. For uh, guess I'll get a toad. I'll get a relor just in case he knocks. Uh, yeah, I'll get a relor. Evolve. I could attach a grass, maybe. I guess I will. A Arvin. Max Bot isn't needed, but I'll grab it and I'll also grab a vessel. Max Bell doesn't seem necessary, but it could be useful if he ever attacks a Gardevoir Reacts or something, I don't know. Um, and just hit for 180. There we go. Yeah, I don't think there's any time Vessel's really going to be helpful. But it's still nice to grab it. Often. I'm assuming he K one hit K with me at some point, but it's not going to be very often. Refinement. I think I Turo before I went to cut. Because Pyro is a supporter and Whimsicott is not. I hope he's got both Heroes and Luxurious Gate, because he does have a way to one hit me twice during a game. Sure, one at a time he gives him an extra prize, but that's fine for him. So. Hitting out a one hit me twice during game is scary. Refinement. Hey, pick up Candy Guardy. See, how much is 6 energy? 6. That's enough damage to me, I think. Let's 
Starting to wish I played a vacuum. He hits me. Balloon blast. I no, I don't want to boss. I was thinking of bossing for a sec, but that's not working. I'm going to griddle first. He goes to my attack. Okay. Her school is kind of useless, right? Yeah. I pull out a Torterra. Brutal. I pull out a Whimsicott. I'm gonna put down Cottony. Try to evolve. I think I got Iono here. Maybe. I think I do. Catch this. The weird choice whether I play on it, but I think it's correct. Do you have enough energy in the discard? Dang, that's crazy. Yeah, he only needs six energy. He doesn't need much. It would seem like he would need more, but he really doesn't. Just knock him out. Yeah, Drifter needs six energy to knock me out, which is surprisingly low. You gonna hit me with Guard EX here? That'll be interesting. Then I can just heal off. So Artisan, I feel like I shouldn't do that much damage. Can I read Drift Loon? Sure. So let me read it. Uh, so 30 for each damage counter on it. When Gardevoir attaches that energy, it puts two damage counters on it. So that's 60 damage per energy. So 6 energy, that's 360. Now it's HP kit provides 6 energy. But if you attack a luxurious cape or a hero's cape, it can't. Kind of interesting, for sure. Arvis. Uses Arvin. Oh dang, yeah, it's pretty powerful. Is he gonna attack with Luxurious Cape now? I feel like that might not be the right time to do it. I feel like he should wait to use Luxurious Cape till later. But I guess he doesn't want to wait. Interesting. I feel like it would be correct to wait though. Interesting. I thought it was for each energy. Nope, for each damage counter. Each energy is Davy Guard of Waterization V. This one's for damage counter. So it's pretty powerful. For sure. Pretty crazy. <laughs> So now he knocked me out again, but he's out of capes that he can one hit me with. So he can't one hit me anymore. But of course he can start gusting now if he wants. But he's down a boss on a counter catcher, so I don't think he can gust quite enough. I feel like Pokey Gear. I want to find the Arvin here. 
I guess I'll go to four and win the cot now. Yeah, I want to find Arvin or something. Arvin, there we go. If Arvin can find me a Super Rod. And Super Rod can get me a Turtwig back. Turtwig Energy. Torterra. And then I'll Ardalon for the Turtwig. I'll keep the energy in a hand. And I'll hit him. There we go. Take two prizes, because he gives up an extra prize. I think Ravska might do enough, real. Um, Ravska does do enough, actually. But the thing is, he can't one-hit my Torterra for the rest of the game. So it definitely is not correct to attack Ravska right here. But yes, Ravska will knock him out. Just not correct to use it. Mm. The good thing is I'm not behind on prizes, and he's out of gust. He only plays one boss and two counter catcher. He can't use counter catcher, and he's down his boss. And he's also down a counter catcher, but of course he can't use it. So I think I should be able to win this one. Just because he's too low on gust right now. Rabska is saving me. But yeah, Rabska definitely does enough damage. It's just not worth it because I want to force him to not be able to knock me out and then heal. Rabska is useful for one prize, but right now I don't need to do change the prize trade. But he can't knock me out at all. Okay, he touches the Glade. If he attacks his blade, that would be interesting. I'd heal it, but... I don't see any good reason for him to attack a stream tail here. Yeah, didn't think so. I don't think there's any way he KO'd me. So he plays one Luxurious Cape, correct. Considering it makes him give up an extra prize, not surprising when he plays one. And then he plays one Hero's Cape, but one Lux, one Hero. That's generally what people play, and that's also what he's playing. So he's out of capes. Turos. Okay. Not like I could knock that out anyway. Doesn't matter all that much to me. Sixteen. Thankfully, I can seal that immediately. Now, whether it's sealed as a turno or not is up to what happens here. First of all, I'm gonna get rid of the Arnazon. Get to grass energy. I'm brutal. For Torterra. Hmm. Didn't need to get Torterra actually. It's okay. Took a year. There. Nope. That can I own him. I might as well evolve this. I evolved the Wind's Cut and I'll use Wind's Cut. Actually, I shouldn't Iono. I should just hold my hand. Ah, but there's no reason not to. There is reason not to Iono. I want to keep the switch in hand. So I'm, I'm not going to Iono. Despite lowering his hand size, he can pretty much draw whatever it needs anyway. I don't think there's anything he has. Are you playing this to Orlando? No, I'm not playing this to Orlando. I'm playing Zard to Orlando, but this is feeling pretty good. I don't think that there's anything my opponent can do to win at this point. Because nothing he has can knock me out. Even if he bosses, he doesn't take a knockout. Or if he does take a knockout, it's a one prize knockout. is isn't enough. So I think I just win. XR, it's funny you're saying I should take this to Orlando when when, you, when before the stream you're telling me it was a terrible deck on Discord. <laughs> and that it's weird to play it. And now I'm doing well with it. Get to a Radiant Ninja, interesting. Because he's so low on energy. 
No, he's not even that low. You have no way to KO me with that Drifling, dude. It can't happen. Bravery Charm on Scream Chow, so what? If you get six... Yeah, that's not enough. You're not doing enough with that Scream Chow. Bravery Charm is closer, but it's not enough. Not enough at all. Pull that iron hands on. You who literally said you were playing so you wouldn't do all that's true. I didn't there's the challenge I wanted to go to later, so I was hoping I didn't do quite too well because I wanted to be able to get the challenge and stuff. But even if I do well I might drop my mate face too, possibly we'll see. But yeah. Forterra is fun, that's for sure. I don't think it's great. So he did Iono me. Unsurprisingly. Is he gonna attack with Gardevoir EX here? That would actually make sense, wouldn't it? I shouldn't evolve the Torterra so I could have grown old for a Whimsicott. That was a mistake to evolve the Torterra. Because I could have grown old for Whimsicott. He might actually win this by two hitting me. Because I can't grow old for Whimsicott. Because I don't have Grudel. I actually messed that up a little bit. So now I can't heal. Turo! Oh my gosh, that's great. Crazy top deck. Turo. Crazy top deck. Off. Patch, I'll grow it all. Maybe I'll get something like a Whimsicott, I guess. I'm assuming is what I'm going to get. Sure, I'll get Whimsicott. Why not? And then I'll hit him for 180. Now, it's possible he gets him another guard at EX, but I don't think that's going to happen. See, how many rods they play? He plays two rod, he uses both, so he can't get another guard at EX. I only can one is bad, yeah. I could have grown old for a Whimsicott and then healed it. But thankfully, I topped that Turo, so I don't even need to do that. That was crazy two cards. <laughs> okay. I think I've got the game. In theory. Unless I'm missing something. Okay. This is kind of crazy, actually. Rapska is so helpful. <laughs> Can't believe it's going so well. Dang, you just pulled the nuts. I know, right? The top deck, bro. The top deck. It's actually the perfect card. Yes, it was. It was an insane top deck. You had to have the energy there in the Turo. So, I actually did mess up slightly, though. Oh. Turkwig. Yeah, if I didn't have the energy, I would have lost. So, um, if I had had not evolve the Grodel to Torterra, I would have just needed an energy and no Turo. But there I also needed a Turo or a Whimsicott or a Grodel. I needed like an extra piece on top of the energy. So yeah, I totally pulled the nuts. What do you mean no? What about Whimsicott? literally useless to you what what do you mean oh oh right duh i should have gotten rid of the whimsicott you're right i see what you mean yeah i should have gotten rid of the whim whimsicott it didn't matter but i should have gotten rid of that one it literally didn't change anything though which is what i got rid of you're right i should have gotten rid of the whimsicott Well, that was close. One challenge yesterday, beat David and Axel was due to Emu. Awesome. I didn't know that was a challenge yesterday. But that's pretty cool. Good job, Arctic. 2 0 oh, Sotero, what the heck? <laughs> I don't know why you're so surprised, man. It's actually pretty solid. <laughs> Alright. Let's see, how's the poll going? Weird, I can't look at the poll easily on them. Um, my OBS, so I gotta look at it here. Let's see. 17% say it is meta, which is interesting. Which is actually one out of six votes, but 
Nice to say a non-meta deck beating a mighty not a deck. It is very nice to see that. Yep. I agree. It's very fun. All right, I'll be right back in like two minutes. <laughs> Sorry if I'm having too many breaks, but. All right, I'm back. So about three minutes till the next match. And I'm going to look at a little more while people are playing. I looked at some of the most common decks, but I kind of stopped at Lost in Box. In fact, let's look at Lost in Box a little bit more. I didn't look at it too much. So it's interesting. 0.16 Spiritomb on average. I'm surprised people are playing Spiritomb considering Mew doesn't exist anymore. So is Spiritomb really necessary? Um, almost everyone has an Iron Bundle. I do like that to be able to switch your opponent. It's just useful to have Iron Bundle. I'll actually show that. You can switch your opponent to the bench once per turn, which is pretty useful. Um, Luxray is interesting. Surprising how many people are playing this. I guess that's not terrible. Just do 180 if you're buying on prizes with a reversal. Uh, most people got Prime Catcher with a race back, that makes sense. A lot of this isn't too surprising. Almost everyone's got Roxanne, and there's still vacuums being played. I don't like, I mean, like Vacuum getting lost box, and like Zard, almost everyone's playing Vacuum. I'm not playing Vacuum in my Zard. In fact, let's look at this. How many Vacuum are there on average? 1.05 lost Vacuum, more than one on average. I don't play any in my Zard. I just haven't felt it to be necessary. There's never been a situation in my testing where I'm like, oh, I need a vacuum here. <coughs> like, the tools just don't feel necessary. I guess that's good against Gardevoir. But I don't know if there's enough Gardevoir to really need to play it. Lugia. In the first tournament of the season, or of this new format, Lugia was the most popular, but this time it is not. It's Pather EX and Lugia, Neuvern EX and Lugia, there's Luxray and Lugia, there's a lot of interesting stuff in these. But really the best way, best attacker is the Chinchino, which is 70 for each special energy card attached to it. Which is pretty solid. You get five special energy on, you're doing 350 and counting anything. And then Archeop can just attach a bunch of that. Sorry, Archeop. And just search for the two special energy per turn, and then you attach one from hand as well. So that's five with the double Archeop. So you can one hit KO anything. Of course, you lose a lot of energy by doing that, but that's pretty powerful. And then gift energy lets you draw cards. It's even better. It's a very powerful combo for sure. Very interesting.
And the ace spec of choice tends to be Master Ball. The majority of people that's their ace spec. Just search for any Pokemon, which I think is very powerful for sure. I think it's definitely worth using that as your ace spec. This looks kind of weird online without the um cool hollow foil. She looks very bright pink. Next match should start any second now. I'm assuming there's like a judge call or something. No, they're waiting to start the next one. Anyway. Giratina Lassen in box. Oh, uh, next match is starting. I'll talk about this after the next match. I'm fighting Chia Pao, which I think because of the Toad Scroll is a winnable matchup, but it's still not easy. Yeah, Toad Scroll definitely helps here. Just because it prevents Pure Ran Retriever from working. All right. So, my opponent has checked in, which means they should accept my phone request soon. Which is good. Let's join live. This uh, this um Chiampao list is unsurprising. It's pretty much what I expect. That's not the Iron Bundle list. That's surprising. Good luck. Let's see how this matchup goes. Tough. I think I start with Cottony. Could start with Relawar, but I actually feel like Rapska is useful just to prevent from damaging my bench. Maybe it's not necessary, but I feel like Greninja could cause issues, so it is correct, I think, to keep the Relawar. Hey, get a. Poke gear? Interesting, I didn't know he played Poke gear, that's kind of weird. Poffin. Oh, Relor is not that needed. I guess I can get Relor. Just takes up a bench space, but whatever. Throw the Team Evo in there. Um, I guess I need to fill my bench with grass Pokemon, but not exactly how I want to do it, so I might not actually get that. I guess I technically don't have to put the other one down on the bench. I can just get this one to help my deck as well. Turtwig. Arvin. Or Nest Ball. TM Evo. Nest Ball. Or Turtwig. Patch Evo. Patch Grass. Don Cottony. And out Evolution TM. Well, Turtwig and Relor. For Rabska. 
Brutal. Too bad Toad School is prize. That makes it harder on me, for sure. Toad School wasn't prize, it'd be a much better situation. Okay. Arita. Kind of assuming he's attacking this Radiant Greninja here. Printer back. Oh, I guess he can't attack this Radiant Greninja because he didn't have a printer back turn one. So he's just not attacking at all, actually. Which is kind of crazy. Super odd, that's not amazing for him. He definitely seems kind of poorly set up. I mean, he's somewhat getting a setup now, but for a while, his setup just seemed terrible. Hmm. I think I do I own him. To Artisan. Use Artisan. Perfect. I do wish Toad School wasn't prized. It makes it a little bit harder on me. I'll thin out some stuff. It's like Grodal. Use Grodal. I need to find an energy here. Pretty likely I find an energy or vessel, but if I don't, it's gonna be annoying for sure. There we go. Please, energy or vessel. Please, I beg. Oh, thank goodness. And a max belt, that's good. Patch. Green. My pal pad, I feel like I don't pal pad, I just hit. Knock out. Max on about allows me to knock out his chin pal in one hit, which is pretty big, actually. Take a prize. What is it? Iona, that's pretty good. All right, he brings up the doof. It's fine. Now what's he doing? He gets another pokey stock and kind of. Good thing is that in order to come, he always needs six energy, which is a lot. Especially considering he only has two in the discard right now. He actually needs seven energy right now because he needs one to recruit as well. Or a prime catcher. Prime catcher means he's not hitting my two present. All right, come on, Cypher Maniac, okay. That gives him pretty much whatever he needs, but I don't know if he even has enough even with a Cypher Maniac. So it seems like he needs a lot of pieces. Pokey stop, okay, Prime Catcher, Super Rod, Ultra. I'm assuming he's gonna Prime Catcher my Rabska then. Not surprising at all. Come on. Oh, those Radiant Greninja in the discard. So I'd have to get that back to really be able to utilize that stuff. <laughs> because getting rid of the Rab's code doesn't really help him if he can't attack with Greninja. I'm interested to see who he prime catchers. 
Oh man, I'm stretching. <laughs> oh, there's the Greninja back. Okay, they're just gonna knock me out, I guess. He has to draw more cards first, though. He still needs a back Excalibur up. It's crazy how he doesn't have that quite yet. Unless maybe he does have it in hand, I'm not sure. Ultra Ball, okay. Double Water, okay. It's Radiant Greninja, okay. It's interesting. Now I got to draw. I'm wondering if he gets the next caliber. I don't. He's already used Cypher Maniac, so he can't use a Rita to get it. Which is kind of crazy. How am I doing this well with Torterra, of all things? Like, this is not a very good deck. Well, there's the next caliber. He found it, finally. I still need to find some energy though. Or superior. Two energy or superior energy retrieval is what we'll do. It's very possible I didn't find that. Ah, there's superior. That's fine. Well, he knocks on my rats go. Good for him. And then I knock him out in return for two prizes. So I still stay ahead. Although he's gonna go ninja afterwards, most likely. Him getting double Weaver all up is a little bit scary. But not too bad. He has like three hopes to stop, okay. So I guess he just knocks me out now, right? Are we gonna conceal cards first, okay? His deck is scarily thin. It's also annoying I couldn't find Toad School. Nest ball. Definitely get Reller. Although he's probably gonna snipe the Reller here. We'll see. Tap to maximum belt. Guess I can put out Lost City. Do I need to? I mean, he pretty much decks himself out and get away. Lost City gets rid of a Chien Val. He only plays two Chien Pals, so it could be his last one, possibly. Because I'll put it out. It might be better to just try and Lost in the Greninja, but I'm gonna try this. Kind of like I want to Iona. I don't know if it's correct. First on Goodle. For another Goodle. I think that's all the way I've had, right? Just get one energy to attach to Goodle. But not Iona. That's looking alright. I think I will evolve. I'll use Brutal. I'll run the cot, I guess. And a force march for knockout. Lost in the Chi and Path. Prizes are still tough. Oh, super odd. That's good. That's very good. Assuming he's gonna knock on my Relor. Fails. Ooh, is this Chien Pao prized? Oh no, Nest Ball for Chien Pao. I was like, what? No, there is this Chien Pao. Still. 
He's not too pokey stop. It's very possible he can't replace my lost city, which would be super nice. Incisors, okay. Another backscalibur, alrighty. Sounds good. Vessel. You're definitely thinning. I'm really hoping he can't find a pokey stop so that the lost city just stays there. Because it feels like I'd be really good to have to stay. Double water. No way he knocks me out. I mean, it's possible, I guess. I'm just not expecting it. But it looks like it might actually be the case that he knocks me out. Which is interesting. It doesn't mean give me a chance to allow my Reller, though. You gotta find secure energy, people. You've got three left. So it's almost positive you find it. But if you don't, then this is amazing for me. Conceal cards. Looks like you must not have found it yet. Or you have it, you just want to go deeper. Imagining a world in which, yeah, of course you find it. I was like, imagining a world in which you didn't, but I thought it was almost possible. Double backs and beaver out. Oof, yeah. It's scary, but it's actually not that bad. I'm not too worried about it. I think it seems worse than it actually is. Especially considering how many resources he has to use to do that. It's a lot of resources he's using up to make that play. If I can find a boss off Poke Gear, that would be amazing. Very possible I can't, but I kind of hope I can. Super Rod in Rabska. I'll get a Grass Hitter, be sure. No, I, uh, yeah, I'll get one. Rodal. Oh, I need to get a Turtwig. Dang. Have to get a Turtwig. I want to get Rabska. But I don't have a Turtwig, it's a problem. I can Arvin for a Nest Ball, I guess. And use that to get a turquoise. I do need Rabska. That means I can't do the boss fly, which is not ideal, but I just really. Oh, there's a griddle down, actually. I didn't even realize I had a griddle down. So, actually, I don't necessarily need to get a turquoise here. It's not a boss. I didn't realize I had a griddle down. I don't know how. Um, I could. Kyoto, I don't think it's worth it, though. It doesn't really do anything for me. Arvin. Not behind, so I can't counter catch her. I'm about to be behind, so I can counter catch her soon. I guess that's what I get. I need this, so I just attach it. And now just hit for 150. That's pretty good damage. He's playing one counter catcher, one prime catcher. This is gosh. He's already down his prime catcher and he's not behind on prizes, so we can't counter catcher. If he knocks me out, I still should be fine. Because he probably can't knock me out again after that. Because that means he's using both his superiors. I think he's. What ace are we running? We're running the um, max belt to do 50 more. Why not play the tool that buff 100 HP since you're healing? So. For a matchup like this, I do 180 with Forest March. With the max belt, I do 230, which is enough. So it really matters to be able to use max belt in this matchup, or in any, or in the Iron Hands, like the Turbo or the um, Future Hands matchup, because then I one hit Iron Hands against any basic EXs. Maximum belt is necessary for me to be able to one hit them, or otherwise I can't one hit them. So it's actually a pretty important. Thing to play that as my a spec.
Wait, he still has a superior life? Really? I didn't think he would. Well, I think he's completely out of energy now, right? Oh yeah, EX everyone on that. Yeah, exactly. EX is very popular. Um, the X-ray sheet sometimes matters, but I don't think it matters quite as much, generally. Okay. I could counter catch her or something, but I think I just hit into the Chien Pao. Can't gust past me, so. Thunder and Shell. Retorterra. Oh gosh, her no Torterra. Shoot. Shoot, they're no Torterra. No, I should have super rotted first. I should have super rotted first. Dang it. I messed up. That's bad. That's really bad. I should have super rotted first. No. I messed that up real bad. Oh no. I guess I'm gonna have to try an Iono into Torterra. Super rot in. I'll get back. Oh, they're lost soon. That's why. They're lost soon. I think all my Torterras are in the lost zone. That's bad. I got my last one prized. It means I have no attacker. I literally have no attacker. My last Torterra is prized. I could try to counter catch her in Beaver Hour or something, I guess. Try to stall something. And deck him out. Shoot, that's bad. Well, okay. He probably has it then. Just because my last three hair is prized. I didn't realize. It's like a year, it doesn't really matter. Dang. That was close though. Prizes, man, prizes. He might actually deck out. I don't think he decks out. All we need is pure energy to feel when he wins. Ah, GG. Last Torterra. You played yourself in Lost City. Yeah. If I had pulled Torterra out of the prizes, I would have been able to win. But I couldn't get it. Got unlucky enough to miss it from the prizes. I was close. But not quite there. Yeah. Can't believe the last Torterra was prized. Alright, that's my first loss. Torterra being prized is tough. Could have knocked out with Rat. No, Rat's got to do enough damage. It only do 10. It does more damage based on the amount of energy he has attached, and he didn't have any attached. So it wouldn't have mattered. Wow. That was close, though. Very close. Didn't quite get it. Apologies if you hear the dog playing with her toy super loudly in the background. I'll be right back.
I'm back. That was a close match. Too bad I lost it, but that's okay. No worries. Definitely got a little bit of bad luck there at the end, sadly. But it was still fun. Alrighty. Ah, what was I last looking at? I was looking at the meta before. I think last time I was looking at Lugia, right? No, it wasn't Lugia. I already looked at Lugia, was it? Tina Lost Box? It might have been that. Yes, it was Tina Lost Box. So, Tina Lost Box. It loses past the peak, but it gains Iron Leaves EX, which for two grats and a colorless is 180, and next turn can't attack. And when you play from your hand to your bench, you can move it in the active and move energy from your other Pokemon to it. So you put it down, move energy to it, or just Mirage Gate onto it. And um, then it comes to the active, and you do 180, or against the Charizard, you one hit it. So it's essentially only here just a one hit of Charizard. Although 180 is not terrible, it's mainly just going to the Charizard, which is pretty useful. Half of them have Manaphy. The A spec of choice looks to be Prime Catcher with 0.81 playing that. Someone's playing Maximum Belt. I thought Maximum Belt was pretty good, but maybe it's not worth it according to most people. Prime Catcher definitely is a solid A spec, though. Um, everyone's got two Poffins, two Boths. Pretty much exactly determined. 1.81 Roxanne. I do like Two Rock Sand, although without Path, it's not quite necessary. Some of y'all playing Temple of Sinnoh to win against Lugia, because you can go through their V-Guard and Gift Energy, which is pretty important sometimes. About half of people got that, and that's really the only stadium people tend to play. It, um, the deck also gains Rescue Board, same with the Lost Box from earlier, which um, reduces three cost by one colorless. The rest of the effect doesn't really matter. Which is pretty interesting. Yeah, it's a pretty solid deck. Gardevoir. Uh, sorry, I'm yawning. Okay. Gardevoir is also a pretty solid deck. Main attackers are Scream Town. And I'm Drifling. Drifling does 30 for each damage counter on it. So if you touch an energy, that's 60 damage per energy. Now it has low HP, so you can't get too many damage counters on it. But Luxurious Cape, Hero's Cape, and Bravery Charm both increase the HP. And then you got Scream Tail, which does 20 for each damage counter on it, but you can snipe it anywhere, which is also super powerful to have. So both of those just allow you to hit really high damage, which is great. A lot of them also play Fluttermane, which is 90 and 2 damage counters on your opponent's bench, but it's good because it shows off your opponent's active as ability. Which is good against things like Lost Box, for sure. You can power it up. And then shot up trophies against Lost Box while also damaging them. Pretty powerful. Ooh, jeez, I'm yawning. Okay. Yeah, kind of interesting. I don't understand why anybody's playing Champions Festival when you can play Moonlight Hill, which heals 30 rather than 10. I guess maybe 10 is more important sometimes. 9, Ancient Box. This deck is made up of Fluttermane and Coridon, or sorry, Coridon, Roaring Moon, Coridon does 30 for each Ancient Pokemon in play. Which is good damage, and then Roaring Moon does 70 plus 10 more for each Ancient card in your discard pile. So you power these up with Sada, you can score Guidance to dig deep in your deck. And then do relatively solid damage. It's kind of low damage overall, but two hitting is nice, and then late game you can sometimes one hit things. Most people have their ace spec of choice being Awakening Drum, which draws for each Ancient Pokemon in play. It's a pretty solid effect, however, I think Maximum Belt is actually better because you can one hit a Charizard late game, because otherwise it's really hard to do that. Alright, next match has begun. I'm fighting Snorlax. I feel like this is a terrible matchup, but we'll see. I don't know, maybe it's winnable, but it feels bad. Because everything I have is grass, and I play grass energy, but so tough.
Yeah, this feels like it's a bad matchup. Maybe I'm wrong. We'll see. Oh, I don't know why I'm yawning so much today. Alrighty. Yeah, I feel like this deck just has a terrible Storm X Storm matchup. Plus, I don't really know how to play the Storm matchup in this deck, so I'll try to figure it out as I go. Anyway, once my opponent checks in, we can start. Which is good. And if they don't check in, I get the win. There we go. They are checked in, and they probably will accept my friend request too. And I like their name, Clogsire1219. Especially because I'm a Clogsire fan. Although, Clogsire is not quite as cool as Clogsire. <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna restart. Come on, game, load. I'm hoping my opponent will accept my friend request by now. So if you're my opponent who's not, let me send a request again and see if they have. Yeah, looks like my opponent has not accepted my request. Hmm. Okay, let me send another request to make sure. Yeah, my opponent's not accepting the request. Will you accept my request, please, buddy? I need to do skin to the match. Nope, looks like he's not. Weird. Come on, come on, come on. Nope. Let me restart the game just to make sure. Some of our glitches that require me to restart the game. Apologize, I'm sure this isn't very interesting to view while I wait for my opponent to accept. not accepting. Hmm. 
Well, I'm gonna call the judge just because my phone's not showing up. And I need my phone to show up to start a match. I'll show this screen. My opponent did send something, but it means I count ahead. Talking to judges and my opponent needs to remove friends. Yeah. This one was tough to get in the game. I'm gonna restart the game again. Yeah, tell him about how I restarted twice, trying for the third time so I can get into the game. Looks like we're friends now. Okay, got a challenge, but okay, not accepting the challenge. Come on. Seemed like I had it, but he didn't accept the challenge. Come on, I thought he was going to accept my challenge. We're not going to have enough time to finish a game, especially with this control. Get a screenshot to show that we're trying. This is even more sus for a Snorlax player. Yeah, exactly. He's just trying to play for a tie or something. Because he's a Snorlax player, he's just sitting there. Take another screenshot. To show. Apparently, if the timer goes to. Ugh, 18, and my opponent has not accepted the challenge, and I'll get the win. It's just kind of weird. That's so annoying. 
<laughs> it's tough with a Snorlax player to not accept a challenge and not set up because that means you don't have enough time. You need to finish a game against the Snorlax player. I'm gonna send him another challenge. Let's see if he accepts. He needs to accept. Come on, man. Oh my goodness. Take screenshots as I go. Just to make sure if my opponent accepts at exactly the last second, then that's definitely going to be something I'm going to send to the judge. Just to make sure they know that my opponent's gaming the system by... Going. I mean, he said it's 18 minutes left on the timer. Well, they're 18.43, so. I'm going to take screenshots as I go, just to show that my opponent is gaming the system if he ends up accepting with, like, one second left. Man, yeah, exactly, if they accept with five seconds left, which is why I'm taking screenshots. He finally accepted, which is tough. It might end at the top. All right, I just set the screenshot of 45 seconds. Yeah, 25 seconds left. I nest ball for Kirkwig, I guess. Let's get slightly set up. Might as well. And then I'll end my turn. My goodness. Feels so weird for my opponent to act like that. Oh, Turo is actually really good in this matchup. <laughs> I feel like I just want to set up a bunch of shark pigs and girdles in this matchup. How many Torterra do I have for eyes? That doesn't matter. Because it determines how many Pokemon I get in play. I do not have any Torterra's for eyes. However, I do have some girdles for eyes, so I actually can't get another shark pig down. It's not safe to get another shark pig down when I have so many girdles for eyes. Hmm. I wanted to get one down, but with, yeah, with the Girdle's Prize, I can't do that safely. And turn. Jeez, man. Definitely feels like system gaining. Anyway, bro is still stalling and you're here and stuff, yeah. It does feel like he's still stalling a little bit, but we'll see. Vessel, I'm not gonna get anything else because I don't wanna thin my deck too much. Vessel away. Raps I'll get rid of Rapska. Double grass. I evolve the Torterra. Attach grass. And I'll force mark for 16. Um, okay. Iono is kind of tough, but that's okay. That's actually a fine Iono. I'm not too worried about that.
Heroes Cape, okay, that's fine. Titan's Bravery Charm, that's fine as well. Oh no, I don't want to draw that, because I can't really attack with the Toad Scroll. That's not an ideal draw for sure. Well, hopefully he doesn't have Nerica. There's a good chance he doesn't have Nerica though. I don't know, okay. There goes the Toad School back to the bottom, which is good. For it feels bad. It does. But once I take a prize, if I find a Grodel, I can go back to three hit. Four hit's not awful, actually. It's not ideal, but it's fine. I'm actually not all that worried about it. Just hit him. Simple as that. Still feels like he's stalling to me. But I'm not sure. I think I just gotta keep hitting. So I get down more Pokemon, the problem is you can start gusting and just it will hurt a lot. Yep, saw that coming. So that's okay, I can still attack with the limbs caught. Limbs caught actually does alright damage. Seed bomb, 40. Bruh, now 5. I'm not too worried about it. I, if we go to time, then I can call the judge just to let him know that we're going to time. By the way, viewers, if you ever seem to think there's slow play, please let me know. The judge should call call him immediately if there is slow play. So I want to make sure I'm paying attention to that. Because that could definitely matter. I hate having double Grodel prized. Could I be able to get more Terra's up if I didn't have more not so many Grodel's prized? Yeah, he's gonna keep pennying, I feel like. Kind of expected. It's definitely tough. Erica is okay. Fails. It's a charge. It's really like digging deep in his deck. Alright, I need to Arvin for an Ultra Ball to get rid of that real. Oh, yeah, I got Arvin for an Ultra Ball. I'm not playing Ultra Ball, am I? So I can't Arvin for an Ultra Ball, never mind. Hmm. I can get a switch, I guess. I can just try to fill my invention here, maybe, but I, the problem is that requires me to rely on Turos, and maybe it's worth relying on Turos. I just feel like I need to knock him out right now, which requires switching. Switch. And I do knock him out, right? Yeah, I knock him out. Knockout. Please find the good old. 
That's not a good old, dang it. How many Iono does he play and how many is he down? He plays... How many Iono? He plays... Three Iono, he's down two. Fury. Okay, that's fine. It's not like I'll lose that much, I feel like. That's fine. I'm not actually worried. That's where every charm, okay? Let's hit him for 90. Which card? Okay. Yeah, I thought he'd bring that up soon. Because I gotta find my boss soon enough. Hi, Grand Ninja I'm just keeping an eye on the game. Do the judge ball. Thank you so much. Hmm. I'm definitely glad you're doing that. He was playing a little bit slow at the beginning of the game. It's just kind of worrisome. I don't know. Thank you for keeping an eye on it. That feels very good for me. Because I feel like this game's probably going to go to time. Um, I just had this hit. There's not much else I can do. Plays two Silene. Oh god. Pop head. Any time leans in is this card? No. Interesting. He is out of pop heads. Kind of crazy. I think I just keep hitting him. It's interesting how he instant charges with such a thin deck. Seems risky. I just hit him for nothing again. Might as well. Gonna touch a stone, okay, that's fine. He uses stone. That means he decks himself out, so he needs to definitely guarantee he gets cards back. Does he have any team yell cheer in this card? I think he's got a team yells cheer, right? Card is gonna fortune? Really? But he has no deck. How does he get cards back in the deck? Pidgeot, oh that makes sense. I need to find a gust. Or Turo. Turo also works, so I do play Turo. It'd be funny if he decks himself. He can't really. Because of the Pidgeot, but Silene. Tough if this goes to time. Because I would definitely have a chance to win. Um, boss? Do I boss Rotom? I guess I'm going to boss Rotom. And then I'll do 90. And then I can put another Pokemon on the bench next turn if needed. No, I probably have the Penny in hand, but... So I think this makes sense to do. Yeah, Penny. Yeah. At least he had to use it up. Did he get back a pal pad? Is that what he got back? Yeah, it is. Okay, I guess I just hit again. If I can find an Iono, I could actually put him in a weird position. Just put all the cards back, and then I can start actually doing some stuff after using Iono. 
Because if you play Iono and it would definitely give him a bigger hand. So I think it would make sense to use Iono and give that will give me a chance. Silene, okay, that's fine. Assuming he gets back Palpad, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, he got back a Palpad. Just gotta find Iona, essentially. Fury. I don't have anything you need, buddy. I'll have it, huh? I wish live could more easily show you what he gets. He gets double sided, you know? Okay, that actually showed me pretty well. Glad. Sometimes live won't show you very well. Pass it. I just need to find Iona, man. I know I play it. This hit again. Where are my Ionos, man? Where are they? Hmm. Turo, that's good to have, but I'm not using it yet because I need to Iono him before I Turo just to get rid of his giant hand because that giant hand is really my worry. I'm because he can pretty much do anything he wants with a giant hand, so I need that Iono before Turo for sure. Team Yells Cheer, okay. Might have to check the game log to see what, Yeah, I gotta touch the game log. Fortune, Penny. Oh, I drew Iono. Definitely using that. Give him a brand new hand. Then I just gotta find a Turo. There's the Turo. Can't use it till next turn, but that's okay. And then I can Turo and attack with Whimsicott. It's only 40, but that's not terrible damage. He literally has five minutes lower than you. Yeah, it's kind of weird. He's definitely taking longer than me. And I haven't been do. I mean, I feel like he's definitely... It's kind of weird that he has more. Because I've even been doing a good bit. I feel like I've been having relatively long turns, but it still ends up being that way. Which definitely seems a little off. Seed Bomb for 40. Mm, maybe I shouldn't have evolved to Torterra. Just because he can gust to Torterra and I can't hit him. It's okay. But yeah, definitely. He has five minutes left in me, which is a little annoying. Counter Catcher. Yeah, I shouldn't evolve to Torterra. <laughs> I can try and Turo again, I guess. Hmm. Let's see. Well, I definitely shouldn't have I messed that up slightly. So I just end my turn. I'm gonna take a screenshot of this. And I'm gonna put this in the light nice armor. Hmm, just gotta find Turo. Alright, sorry, I'm talking to the judge about the situation. 45 seconds left, yeah. The match was 18 minutes long? Yeah. Because he literally, um... Decided that he was gonna...
I just need to I need to find the Turo or try to draw into the Turo. Yeah, the round's over, I guess. So time's out, I guess. Hate that it's a tie. Alright, I guess I'm gonna concede. I feel like I should have been able to play for longer, because if I found the Turo and stuff, I might have still had a chance. Kind of Iono and Turo with a thin deck, and I could have had a chance, but, um, of course, I got a tie anyway. I feel like he should not have started that late. Whatever. Well, next match should start very soon. I'm definitely a little bit annoyed about that tie. So yeah, talk to him. He says watching the actions, there wasn't so fly, but um. Third minute round of five minute check and correct, and we didn't start until there were 18 minutes remaining in the round. You guys started seven, um, we started, um, 12 minutes into that. The check-in is part of the 30 minutes, so we, we started 12 minutes late. Seems scuffed, exactly. Yeah, you know, some of those online tournaments are kind of weird like that. It's a little bit tough, for sure. Not ideal situation. Blech. It's okay. I was in a situation where if it had gone later, I probably would have lost anyway. I am fighting an interesting ancient box. Got three, four baby moon, three roaring moony X. That's a really interesting ancient box. Definitely not what I'd expect, but I feel like it's a tough matchup because it can easily one hit me. Although I can one hit in return, I guess. I don't know how good this matchup is. Feels scary. Ah. Alright, I'm gonna do this. Yeah, just make sure. Yeah, we're already friends. Cool. I'm gonna have to restart. Gotta restart the game for sure. Um, I gotta make sure I update the record. Looks like I did. Jeez. Okay. I think that's the first time I've tied online in a very long time. Good luck to you. Technically the last match took 11 and a half minutes, not 12, but still. Kind of ridiculous. Tails. Okay. I'll go first. I like to go second, but my friend is making me go first, so whatever. 
Mulligan's not ideal. Hoping my opponent doesn't get the turn one attack, but it's likely they will. Especially with that many Mulligans, wow. I think I'll start with Rabs. Uh, or, I'm sorry, Reller. Ah, uh, that's a tough choice. I think I do start with Reller. Although Rabs is actually not a bad attacker. I think I still start with Reller. Hmm. Not exactly what I want with my setup. If I was going second, this would be a much better setup. But going first is not ideal. Poffin. Reller or Cottony. Because I know I'm going to get a Reller knocked down, might as well. The Artisan. Use Artisan for Kirkwing. Okay. In my turn. Well, let's see how set up my opponent gets. Hopefully not too set up. But it wouldn't surprise me if he gets very set up. Especially with all the mulligans I got. This setup makes me wish I played a single bird candy. But I don't play any candies. Ah, Sada. Now he just needs to find another dark. I mean, he plays nine dark energy, so he almost certainly has another dark. He's with the grass and he has two energy on, so I actually do one hit him with Rapska now that I think about it. The question is, is it even worth bringing up the Rel or trying to attack with Rapska? I think it is. I have to find an energy though. That's not an energy. I guess I can't really easily attack with Rapska without finding energy. If I attack with it, then I'm not getting an attack next turn. I mean, I got an Evo TM. Instead of attacking with Rabska. Not what I wanted to do, but it might be what I needed to do. Yeah, I guess I'm Evo TMing. Artisan. A Turquid. I think you should cut two poffins for two ultra wide. No, the poffins are useful. I think the poffins are definitely worth playing. I'm pretty sure I only play two poffins. I'll give it to Arvin. I think. Yeah. Maybe not. Mmm, it's a tough choice. I'll give it to Torterra. Two energy. That's an energy to Reller. I should TA Evo to Reller and I'll Evo. I really wanted to attack with Rabska, but sadly it's just not worth doing. If I popped up Brass Energy, I could have. Well, I guess TA Evo does something. I play three, I gotcha. It's really useful when I need to get a lot of Cottonese early and get Reller and to Tentacruel or Toad School. Like, when I need to get an early setup, it's very good to have. It's definitely worth playing. I see the argument for not playing it, but personally, I think it's very good to have. I'm starting to wish I had brought Cotton Meat so I could use Rabska as a one prize attacker later. I'm having a huge hand is terrifying. Pokesop, Pokesop could be interesting. I don't know if I should use it myself or not, though. Definitely a risk if I use it myself. Hmm. We'll see, we'll see. Doesn't attack? What? That seems off. Now I can knock him out with the Rapska, right? Yeah. Or Arvin, I guess. What do I get? I'm behind, so I can try to counter catch or something, but I don't even think that's worth it. I can get a maximum belt, maybe. And what else? I could get a Poke Gear. I want to find like an Iono or something. But getting Poke Gear feels good. 
do this for another Grotal. If I get a Torterra up, so he's one boss, so he could technically have a chance of gusting and knocking me out, but that actually also damages him, so I think this is fine to get the Torterra up here. I don't know why he didn't attack me, that's surprising. I think he was kind of trying to plan, I don't know what the plan was, honestly. Do I get another Torterra up? I think I maybe do, honestly. Just get set up ahead of time. And Psychic for Knockout. <laughs> Why is it called Psychic anyway? Kind of doesn't seem like the right attack name. You play three gear. Don't evolve. Just keep it in hand. I feel like it's fine to evolve here. I actually think it's correct to evolve. Maybe it's wrong, but I think it's correct. Just sitting out of my hand, I don't know. I like devolving. Because if he gusts it, I can heal. And if he gusts it and attacks his Roaring Moon, he damages himself, which is also good, because then I can knock him out of the Rapska. So it also tempts him to attack with the Moon. Just think, in general, that's correct to do. Just to evolve it. You want to keep Grodel? I only need one Grodel right now, don't I? There's literally no point evolving. I don't know. Maybe you're right. The point is involving as if he escape ropes or something. He doesn't play escape rope, does he? He plays two switch cards. I guess he doesn't play escape rope. I don't know. Point evolving is is to keep me kind of Iona proof so I don't have to use my Grotals or them shuffle my deck or something. I don't know. Maybe you're right. You're probably alright. I just think it thins in case of Iona. And of course, being in hand also thins, but then have to Grotal and shuffle my deck. Okay, he knocks me out, but only 160. That's not much damage. If I can find Iona here, that would be great. I don't know how likely it is I find Iona, but it would be awesome if I can. Gear. That's an Arvin, not an Iona. Well, Arvin can get me another gear. And I guess an Evo TM. Patch. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have attached. That was a slight mistake, actually. It's fine. Do I counter catch a Greninja? I think I do. Just slow down the setup. I'll send her in the shell for a Whimsicott. Then now, of course, not evolved. Ah, uh, maybe I'll get a Turquoise. I don't need Whimsicott yet. I'll get Turquoise. And I'll just knock out Greninja. Wish I could have found the Iono. Sad that I didn't. It's okay. So I definitely should have had the Grass Energy. But now I have to find Grass Energy off Iona. That was my one mistake, not holding the Grass Energy so I could replace it after healing. Because if Iona doesn't find me a Grass Energy, I could be in a tough position. He's already set up, I know. But after Iono, him having Radiant Greninja could matter. After Iono. That's why it could be important. It also could be important where right now he like wants to Dark Patch or stuff. And it's harder for him to Dark Patch when he can't get as much energy in the discard. So he can't get Moon up as quickly. Because definitely his attacker he's wanting to go with right now is Moon. Moony X. I don't know how much getting Radiant Greninja will... If, if I have an Iono soon after, it actually helps quite a bit, I feel like. Maybe I'm wrong about that, but it seems like it's pretty good. Capsule. Thankfully, he's weak to grass, so capsule doesn't matter. Dark patch. He's using a lot of resources up. I don't know if that's correct for him to do. Interesting. Do I poke his up before him? He literally just got it back. I know, but that also required him to use a rod. Uh, so, and I didn't know if he would get it back. So the good thing is he had to use resources. If I make him use resources, I think it's worth it. Because he only plays one rod, and he had to use it for that. Only 160. That's less damage than I thought it would be. Iono has to find me an energy here.
Let's attach it to Girdle. Girdle for another Girdle. I need to find energy off my Hodo. That's important. I think I heal before I even Iota, though. If I do miss it, it sucks, but whatever. Um, I guess one's call will go to the bottom, so I'll get Toad's Cruel. I also have a Super Rod in deck. I could try to Pokestop to try and find the Super Rod, but I don't think it's under energy. I think I am going to Pokestop to try and find the Super Rod still, though. Oh, I lost an energy instead of finding the Super Rod. It's okay. Evolve and heal. Please, Iono, I trust you. You don't want to before I don't know. Why not? Because if I miss it, I still don't want to attack. I want to heal either way. Even if I miss the attack, I still want to heal with the thing. Even if I miss it, it's still correct to heal. That's what I'm thinking. Maybe I'm wrong about that, but I feel like it's always correct to heal, even if I don't get the attack. Just healing is correct no matter what. Never trust I don't know. No, of course. But disruption right now is more important than attack. So it's correct to win the cop before I don't know, I think. Because if he knocks me out, then I've pretty much just been in trouble. And if I because then it's like it's like it was correct to do what I do. I, I almost positive. Maybe I'm wrong about that, but I still think I was almost positive to correct. Especially because the other side, like he hits me and then I turn. So now I'm in a great position actually. Because I have an attack. Turo. And he's not as set up as me. Put down. I'm gonna go to, maybe I could have nest ball out of him. Now, yeah, Toad's Cruel. Grotal. And that one's caught. This time I do not want to evolve to Torterra though, I feel like. I just want to knock him out. Yeah, I just hit him. I don't remember how many vessels I fly. Oh, yes, an energy. That's great. Allows me to Whimsicott now. Awesome. I'm glad I can Whimsicott. Turn next turn. Yep, definitely. I, that's for sure what I end up doing. Vessel, okay, that's fine. That's why I'm using Greninja, which is not ideal. But he's down so many resources. He's down... Double Dark Patch and all four Sladas. Oh, there's a Dark Patch. So we might actually get a Moon Attack soon. We'll see. But then I can just knock out Moon and return. Is he going to get it now? I feel like it's incorrect for him to attack with Moon now, because I can always knock it out and return. I think I have just one miss. But maybe I'm wrong. Okay! So now I win the cut. I'll check my deck to make sure they're not in Grass Pokemon, but I'm pretty sure they aren't. Nope. I'll evolve to win the cut, though. Evolve and use its ability. Catch. And knock out. Surprise. Iono could put me in a six spot. He does not play Iono. I, that's why I didn't do anything, because I know his list does not play Iono. I know for sure. If you, you can look at his deck list and see for sure there is no Iono in there. Which is why I'm not worried. Energy Wild Wings, yeah. Yep. I can actually show you his deck list. His trainers, four Sada, four Guidance, one boss are all his supporters. So he does not play Iona. So he didn't. Oh, I thought he. I was about to say he didn't attack, but I was just blind. He did attack. Now, this is where I need to find energy pretty quickly. Because I do not have the energy I'm looking for, and I need to find it quick. Otherwise, I could actually be in a tough position. Hopefully, you get an energy out of the prizes. How many energy mines? I don't know if there are any energy about prizes, though. There we go. I win, I think. 
Now, unless... No, he's not... I was about to say unless he owns me, but no, as I know, he doesn't play Avon. Oh, do you have boss left? I do have boss left, yes. Oh, no, I don't have boss left. So, I couldn't boss him. I don't have it left. I thought I did for a sec, but no, I don't. I bossed the, um, Greninja, I think. Or, no, I counter for the Greninja. I guess I just lost the boss in some other way, really. But I just win with the vessel for the energy. Yep, Calamity Storm. <laughs> that was pretty close, but I did find the vessel off the prizes, so that won me it. Great, that is weak grass. Evolve. Vessel away. Poffin. Poffin's so useful to get double grass Pokemon to play because you need to get a lot of grass early to hit high enough damage to do what you need to do. I'm so glad he's weak to grass. <laughs> That's funny. Even if he wasn't weak, he still win because max spell. Exactly. <laughs> Okay. Heard a good win. I will be right back. Three one one definitely goes hard. Kind of funny how um I what was I gonna say? All oh, right, I ha my title of the video talks about um fighting Charizard, but I haven't played against Charizard yet. Kind of funny, I feel like. But I'm probably gonna play against Charizard soon, considering it's the most popular deck by quite a bit. You know, thirty eight players compared to thirty for second place. Kind of interesting. All right. So, I guess I was talking about the meta. Where did I leave off? 
looked at ancient marks a little bit, but let's look at it a little bit more. I just fought one. So, a lot of the ancient marks play Roaring Moony X. About half of them have, at least, maybe some of them are multiple focus, not half, but I'm Roaring Moony X is in a few. But yeah, there's Roaring Moon, which does 70% of for each ancient card in your discard, and Coridon, with just 30 for each ancient Pokemon you have in play. Together, they make relatively solid damage. And then you have Great Tusk, which if you play an ancient supporter, you discard four cards, which can kind of deck out your opponent late game. Slitherwing, 120, 90 to itself, and it does burn. So it's pretty solid against Future Box to knock out in our hands. I guess also really not just Future Box specifically. Am I seeing correctly that Snorlax is the best win percentage? You are. However, it's also only seven players. Which is a really low, when the deck is 2.61% in the meta, that's a really low sample size to compare. So it's really hard for that to be accurate when it's only 2.61% of players playing it, right? Like seven people is not enough to make an accurate representation of win percent. But yeah, it is a pretty high win percentage. Um, and then a great test mail, which is kind of similar. It's a great tusk and ancient box, but it's just a great tusk. Which discard the top card, you play an ancient supporter, discard the top four card of your opponent's deck. Pretty solid, and then you some play Wawile to lock your opponent in the active. Some play Mimikyu that can't be hit by EXs or Vs to beat some stuff. Two of them are playing Comfy, which is literally just to get cards, and then you attach an emergency board to it, which reduces, which reduces its tree cost by one. Is Torterra considered other? No, it's not. There's actually two Torterras. One is 1 3 and one is 1. I love s s taking a start of time winning. It feels like the reverse card for the whole <laughs> Yeah, that's funny. Interesting. Shaman. V Star. Trigatune. I know why this isn't doing out well. Just because it's not consistent enough. We've got too much stuff. Yeah, that's definitely not the way to play in the deck. Yeah, I took a lot of time and tied. We're going to see Sonic on the ladder and all this time, and I'm goodness. <laughs> yeah, that's tough. You deserve the words, I guess. I don't know. Anyway. Lost Box Charizard. This is a very solid deck. Just Lost Box, the Brilliant Charizard. A lot of them have Roaring Moon as well. She's a good attacker. And Radiant, instead of having Radiant Greninja, you just have Radiant Charizard. It's just a lot of damage. And it's primarily consistent because it's often relatively straightforward. The Moon does lower the consistency a little bit, but it's a pretty solid deck overall. Yeah. Iron Hands, I'm not a huge fan of in the deck, though. In Sables Art, I feel like you just focus on Charizard and Roaring Moon. Iron Hands goes into one with Radiant Greninja, since that adds consistency. You can't fit too many things into one with Roaring Moon and Zard. Yeah, if you're Radiant Radiant Charizard, you just can't fit Iron Hands, I feel like. Um, Prime Catcher looks to be a spec of choice for most people. A lot of them technical machine Crisis Punch. It seems kind of weird to me, considering Radiant Charizard does a very similar thing. It's just 30 less damage, but you can use Radiant Charizard earlier in the game. Yeah. The rest isn't too surprising. Rescue Board definitely helps any loss box by reducing retreat costs. It's pretty powerful. Reversal Energy is interesting. Well, half of those have that, and I guess I'm assuming they have Luck Fair or something to go with it. Yeah, they have Reversal and Lux Ray, which... You can put it straight on your bench, and then 180 and 20 to itself. It looks like maybe not half of them have it, but like 0.38 Luxray on average. Some are playing this double reversal for the Luxray, which is interesting. Norlax Stall. 
This deck is okay. Cyrus Davis is playing it. <laughs> Blogs are one two one nine was the one I thought that slow played the heck out of it. I mean, this is pretty straightforward. Just um, block on the active Snorlax. It doesn't use Echoing Horn to get a Pokemon in the discard. So this needs to be replaced with Mantine. Puts basic from your player's discard power into revenge. But not everybody plays that, about half of them, or less than half of them actually. Which means you can just discard your Pokemon sometimes against Stall and they can't do much. Arceus Giratina. This is a relatively solid deck. I feel like it's not amazing, but it's not bad. Um, definitely Iron Leaves helps just to be able to one-hit a Charizard in a deck that doesn't one-hit as much, and then you attach a Maximum Belt and one-hit another Charizard with Giratina the Star. But I still feel like Charizard keeps up with you pretty well. Your Charizard match is okay, but not amazing. Probably pretty close. Anyway. And then Roaring Moon. I'm surprised anybody is playing Roaring Moon. It looks like six people are playing it, which is surprising because I feel like this deck is not nearly as good as it used to be. But its win percentage actually isn't that bad. I felt like losing VIP was deadly for the deck, but maybe it's better than I thought. Speaking of which, why don't I play Iron Leaves? I don't have enough energy. So Iron Leaves moves the energy from another Pokemon, but its attack costs three energy. It's expensive. I'd rather just one-hit Charizard with a really bulky person than use a really low HP thing that takes all my energy from my whole field. I mean, 180 is the same amount Torterra does, but it costs 3 energy rather than 1. And it has much lower HP, so it doesn't bolt. So I definitely don't like Iron Leaves in the deck. I don't care about the Fruit Retreater really with Iron Leaves. The problem is having any two prizes on my bench with high HP just isn't worth it. And it's, Iron Leaves is only really good against Charizard because of Grass Weakness, whereas my deck's already in Grass Deck, so it hits the Grass Weakness. In fact, I don't think Iron Leaves is very good specifically in Grass Decks. It's better in decks that play Grass Energy but aren't Grass Decks. Just because it's only really useful for hitting Weakness, in my opinion. Iron Leaves seems like it's a I don't think it is a must-have, especially when I don't have any energy acceleration. So now I would have to get three energy on the field in order to use Iron Leaves. No way I'm getting three energy on the field in this deck. You should play Shaman. Shaman required me to play the V and the V star. That's two slots, and it doesn't do that much damage. The problem is all of these options have really low HP, which causes a lot of issues. I just really hate playing anything low HP. It makes it a lot tougher for me. I'm fighting another Arctina. Alrighty. Not a V, I didn't hear. Shaman? Wait, basic Shaman? What does Shaman do? The one that costs two energy? Like the new Shaman? Is there a new one? 16 to an EX or V? Why? To a bench to EX or V, I don't understand the use of that. To do 60, the problem is it only hits the bench. And Torterra, so Torterra does 180. You hit 60, that brings it up to 240. That's not enough damage. It doesn't end up helping the mass in any way, I feel like. Maybe I'm wrong about that. But looking at the math looks off to me, where it does like it does 180 plus 60, that's 240. You'd have to hit with Shaman twice, but after you use Shaman, it gets knocked out. 
So it just doesn't seem like it does anything in the arc matchup. Maybe I'm wrong. My opponent did say they accepted my request. Let's see. Yeah, they did. Gardenia should be an item. Yeah, Gardenia is not great. Gardenia is very weak. Max Bell doesn't work on Arceus, though. Because Max Bell only works on EXs, so it doesn't work on any V-Stars. So it doesn't really do anything against V-Stars. Every time you use Giardini, you get nothing, just a waste. It is pretty much a waste, I agree. Oh, I'm dumb. It's so fruit free. Yeah, fruit free is kind of nice. Don't feel like it's necessary, but it's kind of nice to have. I just feel like my vent gets really full, so there's not really room for a fruit feeder, but I can see the use of it. This is a little bit of a weak setup for me. I'm going to need to find the Evo TM off of Iono. And that's going to be a little bit tough to do, I feel like. Very possible, but it's not easy. Hmm. No spot, what do I get? I guess I get a cotton here. Okay. Mon Evo TM, I beg of thee to pop up. Evo TM! Nope. Darn it. People want Maxbell specifically for Giratina for Evolve? No, they don't. Maxbell is only EXs, so you can't use it on Giratina. You instead use it, um, Maximum Belt for, um, Xi'an Pao and Iron Hands. Or any other basic EXs. And sometimes higher, it, sometimes Evolution EXs can be good against too. But yeah, Max Belt, sadly, you can't use on Tina. It would be nice if you could. No Arceus, no Arceus, no Arceus. Ah, oh, man. That's too bad. Well, there's a KO. If I had been able to catch my ha keep my hand, I could have at least try to counter catch or stall something, but nope. Looks like he's taking some early prizes. This is definitely not ideal. Dang, got the beaver off too. Yeah, this is a bad setup for me. Real bad. I think I bring up cotton, me honestly. Maybe that's wrong, but that feels right. And now the Tina's powered up. Ugh, I got this prepared. If I had managed to get the Evo TM, maybe I would have had a better chance. Myself cottony, I guess. Might as well.
Do I pop pad? No, I don't. I just enter. Play the fine span of metallic at the same time. The Viants with Radiant Zard is awesome against Tina. Yeah. I like Choice Belt with Radiant Zard for Tina. And like my Zard. I don't know, the fine span is also useful, but I like Choice Belt better for my testing. There's a KO. Right, I'm gonna be reliant on a lot of healing now. A lot, a lot, a lot. Harold jump scare, sorry. <laughs> I know. I feel like Harold's pretty funny to have there. Sure, I'll get a Ravska. Might as well. Evolve. No energy, so I just... I pop had an Iono just because I need to get set up. Then I'll end my turn. This is an awful setup, isn't it? It's so awful. I guess I can heal twice in a round, but that's about it. I don't think maximum belt damage matters in any way, really. Come on, game! There we go. Wafting heal. Sundrun shell. Rogodal. Sundrun shell. Or I guess I get a Torterra. No, I don't need a Torterra. What do I even get? Nothing out of Whimsicott, I guess? No, I'll get a Relor just to get something on my bench. Maybe Toad School is better? No. Um, I think Relor is better than Toad School. Just need to fill my bench, so it's worth it. And 180. I need to find energy. Or an R better husband. I need to find another energy. Please. Please, I need another energy. Energy, 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 energy. Please. I beg you. I beg a bow. Okay, it's dirty. Game, if you would give me an energy, that would be greatly appreciated. <sighs> nope. That's okay. It's not great, but it's okay. It's not like it's over yet. It is looking dire, though. I guess I just hit you. I'm not even gonna evolve so I can keep my girdles to thin. Knockout. There we go. Energy out of the prizes, please. I beg. Game. 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 Oh, come on. You're already playing Evolution Mons anyway. Baby Toad would be so good. I do have Baby Toad. I play Baby Toad Scroll, but it's just not useful in this matchup. But yeah, I definitely play Baby Toad Scroll. Ah, oh, Max and Arceus pieces. Blech. Well, he doesn't knock. Actually, he knocks me out here, but he doesn't knock me out in the next turn. I'm glad he's down a boss. That helps. Makes it a little bit easier on me. Imagine it was a set. Then we move. Oh, baby Totera. Gotcha. I mean, it does. What? What else to do that's any better? It like doesn't feel like it's much better than 
the adult one. The adult one survives. The baby one costs more energy, which is kind of hard to power up on this deck with no energy acceleration. It doesn't feel like it does much more that's worth it. I don't see the point of playing the baby. Okay. Interesting. I guess I thin out some stuff. Just so I can get to the bottom of the deck. Just thin out pieces I don't need. I need a nest ball. No, I don't want a nest ball for Toad School because I want to leave a spot for when's a cot. I'll catch Max Bell. Might as well. It's tough losing Turo, but I gotta do it because I gotta find an energy. Come on, no energy? Are you kidding me? Super odd and Cottony. Oh, I shouldn't use both. I shouldn't use both Grotals because I could have Grotal for a Cottony. Shoot, that sucks. That's my fault too. That was a mistake. Oh no. Yeah, I could have Grotal for a Cottony and then gotten Whimsicott next turn. I'll survive a when I get another track for Rogue Death. Middle of the don't work. Yeah, I mean, the survival cast could be interesting. I don't know how good it's going to be. It's, it's a pretty good card for sure, but I don't know how necessary it is and stuff. Okay, I feel a little bit dumb with how I played that. Might even been better to keep my hand, I'm not sure. Oh, he bosses past. Well, that means he's going to have to try and find his last boss. I mean, it's likely he can find a lost boss, but it's possible he doesn't find it. And if he doesn't find it, I have a chance. Wait, won't he have kicked if he's just... No, because survival cast only works if they have full HP. So, hero's cape if you're not being... So, survival cast is only useful if you're being one hit, essentially. Well, of course, I find it now. Had to be the next card, didn't it? I'm going to for a cottony. Oh, I don't know. All I need to find is boss, of course, so I just gotta hope he can't find that. Guess I just hit for 150. Please don't find boss. I need the boss to just be missing. Ugh. He got so many chances to find boss. No way he doesn't find him in time. Wait, what? What do you mean? Wait, what? Theory? Okay, that's fine. Now I gotta heal again, I guess. I know how his boss is not there. No way it's his last prize, right? Wait, what? He bossed? No, he... He has two bosses in the discard. He plays three. If he finds his last one, he wins. That's what I'm saying. Do I guess the Tina? Maybe... Oh, I guess the Beaver Ramp, so we can't find the boss. Now I can't dig for a boss anymore. I also think I have a boss in deck myself, which is good. Love the whims caught. Use its ability. Touch again. I do need that Iono just to dig deeper into my deck. The knowing that it gives him a hand, but it's actually okay. He also might have another supporter, so it's probably worth it. Oh man, that's not an ideal hand. Poffin. I guess I'll get a toad school, might as well. And I'll knock him out. So now I can't start digging for boss anymore. No more digging for boss, buddy. Not happening. I would not allow it. He bossed him. It seems like a misplay because he got one of Why was it a misplay for him? To do that. I don't know, maybe it was, but I don't quite see it in this play. Hmm. 
Hmm. That's a way nest ball. So, I mean, I can try to Turo, but then if I Turo, I have no attacker after that, which is annoying. Because I need a backup attacker, and I don't have any. Yeah, Turo is actually tough to use here. I can try to use Switch. Oh, I'm out of Switch, so I can't do that either. I can't Urban. Ugh. I'm gonna try and find Turo. It does require me to dig pretty deep. No, I don't find Turo. Even if I find Turo, I'll probably lose, though. Gear. Turo, I guess. Good thing you're right. Even though I have an attack, I don't have a game anytime soon. I think I'm just one turn too far behind. If I was playing Candy, maybe I would have a chance here. But no, I don't think that would have worked either. Yeah. So I'm just one turn too far behind, it looks like. That's a little good for turn up potential. Why is it tough? Why is this a tough situation? Because he two hits me here. And I can't do much to prevent him from doing that. Because once I knock him out, he just knocks me out with teed up for game. So I think the game is over. It was very close though. Turo, that doesn't help, does it? Because he can just knock out anything I bring up. If I had one more turn, that might work. But no, I can't. I mean, Rapska knocks him out, but then he just knocked out Tina still because he has one prize card remaining. I think it's just over. This was very close for sure. What? What is happening? I can't do anything. Why is that letting me do anything? That's weird. The game just froze, so my opponent gets to win. F, yep. Yep, that's it. It just ended my turn. Wait, why is he not attacking either? Is it just because is it just because it's locking both of us out of the game? Looks like it's showing him as locked out as well. That's weird. Hmm. That's weird. It's like a lock on us both. It looks like he's just kind of locked though. Are you both teasing? I don't know. I'm confused. Because he's not playing either. I feel like I'm the one with the desync, but I don't know for sure.
Oh my goodness. Hmm. GG, um. Yeah, we're both desynced. So he just reported the game as a loss. Um, okay. Hmm. So because of the desync on his side, it might just be a tie. He reported as a loss. I don't know. I don't know if I should fix that. He said that because of the desync, I would have it on the next turn, so he gave it to me. But I don't know. I'm not sure exactly. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Should I call the judge and see if I can figure out how this is supposed to go? Or, I don't know. Hmm. That is weird. Yeah, I'm not sure. Well? Okay. I can see now. I won't let me continue. I gotta actually force the game close. Call a judge, okay. Leave it be. I don't know. Okay. I think my opponent's probably left the game. I think it might be too late. Oh my gosh. It's not fine? Okay. I don't know whether or not to call the judge. The problem is I think my opponent's left the match. It's kind of hard for my opponent to give input into the situation. If I, I sh if I don't think it's out of doing it, I should have done that immediately. Immediately call the judge. I can't tell exactly what you said, Larry. Sorry. It looks like you did a little bit of typo. Yeah, or maybe it froze for me at the exact moment you froze too. Maybe that's what you're saying. I don't know if I was playing. I don't know if I was playing against you, Larry. Maybe that's what you're saying. Hmm. I feel a little bit guilty about that. It's too light to fix. So. All right. Well, just <laughs> that's the game. Feels wrong to win that way. Everyone fro. Wait. Oh! Everybody in every match froze, you think? Is that like a thing for everybody? Is that like a game-wide thing? Very possible. That, look at this. Look at this. It froze for me at the same moment. So look, this is on the late night server. My game crashed over playing cards and the timer's still ticking for him. I think most games crashed over too. This is an issue with everybody. What? This is like a game-wide issue. I wonder... Okay. They might do something about the round. I think they might have to, like, tie everybody on the round. It looks like everybody freeze at the same time. Or, I guess, froze at the same time. Yeah, everybody froze at the same time. What? So it's like a game-wide issue? That's crazy. Um, so what do they do to fix that? Uh-oh. That is crazy. I've never seen a game-wide issue where everybody crashes at once like that. Or everybody crashes at once. Um, well then. Uh... 
What? Okay, so I'm very interested to see as how they do this. I'm gonna ping the admin, maybe. Yeah, I'm gonna ping the admin. Not call the judge, because the judges might be busy, but I'll ping the admin. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Huh. Game-wide freeze. What? I've never seen this happen. This is why live feels like it has issues, because every once in a while there's just crazy things happening. Yeah, everybody. It's happening for everybody. Someone else just posted an image about it. What? I know I might sound like I'm repeating myself, but this is like crazy. There's 30 seconds till the next match. I'm very interested in what they determine to do. I bet you they won't start immediately because they're determining something. Wow. Yeah, apparently the admin says you get an answer for us on what, what's going to happen. While the answer is determined, I'm going to be right back for like a minute. Yeah, I'm definitely going to restart it for sure. I'm back. It looks like a decision is still being made on what's going to happen. <laughs> so wrong. This client is so broken. What in the world? Pretty sure the server crashed or having issues, what someone said, which seems exactly right. <laughs> this is probably the worst glitch I've ever come across personally in this game. Because I've come across glitches where the game like desyncs or something, and especially further in the past where I just can't do something, the game gets locked. But most times not permanent, I have had permanent locks. But I never had a permanent lock where everybody else at the same time also has a permanent lock. On that game and just has to leave it.
to another server I'm on, we wasn't really talking about this, they were just having another conversation um, about bugs. It's like, what do you do if there's bugs in an online tournament? And um, then I'm like, actually, the game just crashed for everybody. So that's fun. Let's see. Sorry, there, there's a server issue and we're dealing with judge calls. Thank you for your patience. Okay. Perfect. So they're working on judge calls. They really pair around. They paired around seven? What? They're actually pairing around seven right now. That surprises me. I'm not expecting them to just go this quickly to pair round seven. I don't know what they did. They just gave out a bunch of ties or something? I guess they gave out a bunch of ties. That is odd. Yeah, interesting. They just paired round seven. Exactly. <laughs> we'll see if there's more issues. If there are more issues, they might cancel the tournament. But sometimes do that when there's extreme issues. Let's we'll see what happens. I'm fighting a lost box with triple Lux Ray. The Radiant Charizard is a scary thing. I gotta find my lost city when I need it to give it a Radiant Charizard. I'm surprised they paired it already. I'll go second. What in the world was that? Did you get a tie? No, I got the win. Got to keep it. They didn't do they just did the, they just went to judge calls for the people who did crash. What? That was very odd. Can I get a good start, please? When I ask for a good start, that's not what I'm saying, but I also don't hate this. But definitely not what I was talking about when I say good start, because it's really not that great of a start. Not terrible, but it's not great. Well, okay. Get rid of the Luxray. Okay. Three Luxray seems like a lot. What? Okay. Got relatively set up. Nest ball. I guess I'll get a Rattler. Raptor's not private. Thank goodness. Um, I've only got one Torterra in. Oh, no, I got one in hand as well. Okay, that's fine. No, oh, I don't want to wrestle any of those away. So I'm just going to Iona. Hopefully, I find an energy and a. That is not very good. He does not play Clara because Clara is rotated, therefore, there's no reason to get Toad Scroll, right? No, they're not. Could put down Toad Scroll still, though. Just to fill my bench up, I feel like it might make sense. Enter. This is a slow start. Not bad, but not great either. See, I feel like I need to play at least one more candy in this deck. I feel like I need it, because, um... If I don't get Evo TM turn one, then it takes me a few more turns to get set up because I can't devolve up very quickly. And that's kind of the situation I'm in right now where it's, she's going to get two knockouts before I even get evolved up. And then Radiant Charizard is also an issue later. It's just tough. And this is not feeling ideal. It's feeling very bad. Yeah, yikes indeed. Definitely makes me wish I played more candy. Although candy here, I probably wouldn't even get what I need. Not ideal. I mean, it's so winnable even if I do that. Also, Ultra. 
Oh, yeah, I guess the Ultra Ball would be needed at that point. Well, I think Grotto kind of works with an Ultra Ball anyway. He passes? I was expecting him to get an attack. That's kind of surprising. Is there anything I need to pop him for? Yeah, I'll get Double Cotton. Double Cotton? Yeah, I'll get... Double Cotton. No, I... Do I get Double Cotton? It's a weird choice. No, I only get single cotton. I need to leave a space for a Turtwin. And then I got that. I don't know. Get rid of his big hand. Maybe I could have grown first. Probably would have been smarter to grow first, actually. Mmm, that makes me wish I had an energy. It's a good hand if I have an energy. But it's other. Without an energy, it's not an ideal hand. I feel like I have to get Ravska, right? Because Sableye could just roll over me if I don't get Ravska. Or I guess I can get Ravska. I forget, didn't even realize I had Nest Ball in my hand, so I definitely get Ravska. Nest Ball. Poor Twig. In my turn. There we go. That's fine. Okay. That's looking alright. I feel like one Ultra Ball, one Candy would be really nice in this deck. I could definitely cut a Poffin if I put an Ultra Ball. I'm not cutting two Poffins though. And then cut something else for a Candy. Oh, I don't even know how a Nesteria Ultra Ball is. Maybe it's, it seems alright. First KO! Yay! And by yay, I mean aww. Bro, never girl first. What do you mean never girl first? Oh yeah, it depends. Cause if I girl first, it thins my deck, and then I can evolve stuff up. There, I didn't girl first, but there is reason to do it sometimes. Just cause I want to draw into the cards I need off Iona. So I wouldn't say never girl first. It really depends on the situation. I get a Cottony or a Turtwig? I'm gonna get a Cottony. I think that's right. I don't know if that's right, honestly. Arvin. Vessel. Max Bot and TM Evo are useless, but I guess I'll get Max Bot because it's even more useless than TM Evo. I'll attach. Forest March. Hmm, I'm thinking I should have sinned because I need to find my lost city if I can. Oh my gosh, yes! So my opponent plays two Roxanne. Third Nation area. There's a. Well, a lot of times you do grow first because, like, you want to thin, you want to, like, grow. And then evolve stuff to thin cards out of your deck. And you normally hold on to like one go to all, but often you can even use all of them because you want to just thin cards out of your deck. That's important. Um, So nothing knocks me out except Charizard, right? Yeah, so I can just attack again, actually. There's nothing that KOs me, so I can just attack again. Do this. I mean, I can grab the Whimsicott. Oh, I'll grab a Turtwig. No, I'll grab the Wind's Caught, just in case he tries to chase my Grotal. And I might as well Arvin. What do I even get? Evolution, and I guess Super Rod. Do I need Super Rod? No, I don't really. Maybe I get Poke Gear to try and get to an Iona. Or a boss. A Vessel away, Maximum Belt. I, don't, I can just attach Team Evolutions, actually. I don't need them. Might as well spin them out of my hand. Catch. Catch. Hit for 180. And I'll heal next turn. But yeah, nothing can knock me out except Radiant Charizard. So there's no reason to heal yet. Alright. Reversal. 
I guess he doesn't need to reversal as much, considering he's already down to him. He does put a Luxray down. That was weird how it went down like that. I like showed it weird. Alright, super on. So he's gonna hit me with Luxray, but it doesn't knock me out, and then I heal completely. Probably run one out here anyway. Yeah, it does, exactly. Which is why I don't need to heal. Cram rock. So the problem is I hit him, then he can rock sand. I hate activating his rocks. Counter catcher, interesting. I guess that means I don't need to heal. I think I want to Iono out because I want to make sure he can't. Well, then I give it to Lost City. It goes to the bottom. That's the problem. So I guess I can't Iono, can I? I just gotta hit him. And if he knocks me out, whatever. I hate it, but it's fine. You can get a Turtwig here. You open the space for it. I'm actually glad he opened a space for a trick thing. One eighty. Now Rock Sam's annoying, but I'm assuming he is gonna rock Sam, which is really tough. Hopefully I can find Lost City, but I find it likely I can't find Lost City off Rock Sam. We'll see though. Oh, I just realized what he did. I didn't even realize he went for the Rabska. So he can actually take two prizes of save lives since he went for Rabska. That's actually tough. Didn't actually realize that was what he went for. Hmm. Scary. And he brings up Turtwig, and Turtwig's gonna get stuck, isn't it? Oh no. I think I've lost probably at this point, right? Yeah, I think Save Lodge just shuts me down. If I had Turo, I'd be better off. Not great off, but better off. But I don't have Turo. Wait, what? Oh, active! Shoot. I didn't even realize it was active for some reason. Do I even attach? I guess I attack. Dang it. Shouldn't evolve to Whimscott. I guess it I guess it increases HP, so maybe it's worth still evolving to it, but it's still annoying. I think I'm just lost at this point. Yeah, I've definitely lost. Game's over. The jig is up. <laughs> That's okay. That's game. GG. Four, two, one. Okay, I have time to play a match for fun, I think, since we'll accept team minutes in the next roundabout. Roundabout. Not roundabout. <laughs> Tails. Do you want to get furs? No. Sorry, I'm a little bit... There we go. Ah! Go with the active. Now you need live trash in me. No, I do not need live trash in my opponent to give you the win. That's not right. That's definitely not a good way to get wins. That feels wrong. Some kind of Tina that I'm fighting on soon. It could be Future Box as well, I guess. It's a Future Box or a Tina. It's Future Box.
I better get real set up here. Gotta get real set up. I need gear to give me everything I need. Can I trust you, gear? I'm gonna fin before I gear. Gear needs to find me an Arvin. I don't even need Code Scroll in this matchup, do I? have no reason. Code Scroll is only useful in very specific matchups. Gear. Arvin. Perfect. Arvin. Evo TM. Nest Ball. Nest Ball. Turtwig. Catch. Catch. Evo TM. Swoop. Swoop. There we go. Not bad, not bad. Oh, I shouldn't have gotten the Relor, because actually Iron Crown knocks out Relor, now that I think about it. So it's just a low HP thing for Iron Crown to knock out. Didn't even think about that, really. It's okay, though. I'm not too worried about it. Peak Acceleration! For the KO! He peaked at accelerating. Alrighty. Bring up Grodel. Up he comes. Nest ball. Or Turtwig. <laughs> Sun Dread Shell. Or Torterra. Evolve. Patch. Now I'm going to march through the forest for 120. There we go. Marching through the forest. How are you gonna get two energy on there? Are you gonna oh I bet he's gonna use yeah, I think I know what he's gonna do. No, he didn't. Maybe he already has the um a second hand. Surprised you didn't put all that energy on iron leaves. Could be easier to power it up if you put it all on there. Oh, that's how he's moving the energy over. It makes sense. I don't even know what a vernier is. At least he can't attack next turn if he does this. Yeah, I don't know what a Vernier is, but it's called a Rapid Vernier, apparently. I've got Iono now. If I can find a Maximum Belt, that would be insane. Of course not, but that's okay. No, that worries I'm not to find it. Don't need that, so I'll just attach it. A Sundrench Shell. Or, oh, there's no cottony. Lame. I wanted a cottony. I wanted a cottony now. Ravka seems like a pretty solid attacker, actually, but I guess I'm on odd prizes anyway, so it doesn't make sense to use it. Please, no other iron leaves. Just don't have one. No more. You've got enough iron leaves. Get rid of an R ah, there's another iron. Lame. <laughs> Dale, your bench is iron leaves. Yay. It's kind of an interesting idea. Just keep healing by switching around. <laughs> We're not healing, but switching, I guess. Prepare to get walked. Oh no! 
Really? Come on. That's not nice. That's not nice at all. Our well, Iron Lee is going back to the bottom with an Iron Lee. Unless I find an Axon Belt. Or an Arvin. I must find like an Arvin. It's not an Arvin. But yeah, going right back to the bottom. I'm gonna get a Grodel. I'm gonna get Torterra. And yes, this is a time it does make sense to use Grodel first because it thins. Because I need to find my maximum belt. I need to need it now. Yano. Ah, no maximum belt. Hoorah. Artisan for Turtwig. Just could put down Toad School, but it's nice. This is a tough hand. I don't have I don't have Turo available. 150, yay. Please, no more Iron Leaves. No more switching around your active, please. Blech. Iono. Huh? Please be a good Iono. Please be good to me. That's okay to me. Could be worse. Just for treats, okay. Okay. I can counter catch her. I think counter catcher is in deck, right? Should be. I'll check to make sure. Counter catcher is in deck. Can also super odd back into cottony. So I can allow healing. Cottony, Torterra, Grass. Arvin for Countercatcher. Countercatcher, Leaves. Nest Ball for Cottony. Go to get Wins caught ahead of time. I guess I'll put out Lost City, just to loss in him. Might as well. Do I attach an X Belt? He's not knocking me out, so I might as well attach an X Belt, right? So I can knock out, yeah, I'll do it. Although I might play Vacuum, so maybe it wasn't worth it. I don't know, it's okay. I think that's fine. It's not likely he gets an attack here, it's a good thing. He might, but I don't think it's gonna happen. And I can knock out anything that attacks it, which is awesome. Right on, okay. Reboot pod. Well, that pod's up from right on. Right on actually does 80. That's a lot of damage. Now I'm thinking I shouldn't have attacked the maximum belt. I wasn't expecting him to attack from right on, honestly. But yeah, that means I shouldn't have attached the maximum belt. And now I power with leaves and I can't knock it out with maximum belt. Hmm. Well, if I draw an energy, I can win the cod and it'll be fine. But I need to find an energy at that point. I don't know, that could likely find an energy. I'm definitely gonna thin some Pokemon out. And I think I am gonna heal. Even if I don't find the energy, it's still worth healing. But it's not unlikely I find the energy. Just I need to be able to keep the maximum belt on the board. That's important. I don't know. Come on, come on, come on! Yes! Catch. KO. And I have Turo in the Switch as well in case he tries to gust me or something. So I think I just have game available, unless he finds a vacuum. He might play vacuum, I don't know. Even if he does, I can try turrowing and stuff. I'm just gonna get rid of Mimi X, considering I can draw him another card. I guess he didn't want me to gust it, makes sense. 
Since it is a really easy gust target. Although he can't knock me out. If I gust, I can use maximum dodge and Barbin, okay. He's playing Lost Vacuum and he gets it here. <laughs> so I guess that's where we see if he plays it. No vacuum! Awesome. Perfecto. Hell and game. We went with XP share, not like it matters that much. GG! Alrighty. Wish that was an actual tournament match, sadly it's not. I'll be right back. We're back. The next match starts in one minute. And I got some prizing from that match, so let's get that prizing. Collect some packs and stuff. Put forth those hands. Now that Cyber Maniac is nice looking. Solosis. Another Solosis. And reunit that same line. Go lurk. That's a cool looking that's good you know. Walking wake. Sizzlepeen. 
Carvana, Rabska, that's in my deck, Electivire, another weird looking Ponyta, Darn Thorns. But that Ponyta's face looks off to me. Anyway, next match has just started. I'm fighting Charizard! First time so far. Send another request. Okay. My opponent has not checked in yet. And in order to begin the match, it must check in. Is that a four cipher? I need that. Yeah. Four cipher is nice looking. I agree. It's very cool. My opponent needs to show up here. It's very possible my opponents since they've lost three games decide not to show up. You gotta show up, buddy. We'll see. It's possible my opponent doesn't show up. Three and a half minutes until they show up right here. Let's see. This is a Charizard list. Let's look at it. It's got a Professor Turo scenario, which I feel like is not worth it in Charizard, but it makes sense to play, I guess. It's got Roxanne, which may seem bad, but actually it's really nice because getting yourself a big hand is somewhat important sometimes. Yeah, I got down paired. I got down paired last round too. But um, yeah, Roxanne is actually quite nice because with Pidgeot's art, you sometimes need multiple cards, and if you Iono, you only you have a tiny hand and sometimes can't find multiple cards. So Roxanne's actually pretty good in Pidgeot's art. Azul even liked it. Um, Maximum Palette is the optimal way spec for sure. Choice Palette, I do like Maximum Palette and Choice Palette as a combination. Double Rotom B, weird to me. I feel like you need a Rotom B and a Lumineon rather than Double Rotom. So that definitely seems off to me to play Double Rotom instead of Rotom and Lumineon. <laughs> seems like you're hurting your consistency at that point. I think that opponent might not actually show up. It'd be crazy if I made phase two here. Alright. So Looks like I might just get the win because my opponent doesn't show up. We'll see. What we'll place am I before this match? Forty fifth. Okay. What is my opponent's win percentage? Like, how much am I? Well, my opponent's been doing. I am not going to, so, yeah, that's something I should say. If I make phase two, I'm probably going to drop because I don't have time to fight out phase two, sadly. I'm going to put percentage, it's pretty good, actually. I just have to, because I have to leave to go to a league challenge tonight at my locals, which happens to be on Wednesdays. And since it's a challenge, I can't really skip it because I care more about getting points for the World Championships than, um... Doing well in an online tournament, especially considering if you look at the leaderboards for these online tournaments, the top 32 players on the leaderboard make it. Oh, it's not there. They don't have the link. Um, let me find the link. Oh, God. There we go. So. If you look at the rankings for the tournaments recently, I'm first place, and I'm still going to be first place even after this one, most likely. Therefore, I don't feel the need to perform well in these tournaments, therefore I'm fine with dropping. Because top 32 players make it into the um, Invitational Tournament at the end of the season.
you, you you do get top 32 points. That's correct. If I make it, I get points for being in the top 32, which is nice. So yes, that's definitely true. I get top 32 points. Okay. I got a win because my opponent did not show up. Which gives me time to play a match for fun. Since my opponent just didn't show up, I have plenty of time. Let's do it. So I guess I'm 5-2-1 now. If I win my next one, I actually make phase two, which is crazy. Hmm. I'll go second. But yeah, top 32 points actually does help for my invitational invite. Of course, I'm pretty much guaranteed to invite anyway, so I don't care. Snorlax? So oh, I'm fighting Lugia, I think. Is Lugia... Lugia feels like it'll be a bad matchup, but maybe it's not. I know my dad said it's actually not bad when he played against it, because it's my dad's list. Master Ball. He's playing the old Master Ball. Okay, pretty cool. This is the only old A spec you can play right now. It's not all pink like the rest. This looks like a very good start. As long as Evo TM's on right. Yeah, this is a great start. Okay. I really like this. Hmm. So I have Artisan, so I can only get another basic. I definitely want to get Evo TM, but I think I get Nest Ball, right? Could get Poffin, which gives me more Pokemon. Maybe it does make sense to get Poffin, honestly. I mean, what? Po yeah, I think I get Poffin, actually. Poffin. Relar. Cottony. Guess I can get rid of Arvin. Yeah, I'll get rid of Arvin. Best of all, way Arvin. Not ideal, but it's fine. Put out Artisan. Use Artisan. Or Turtwig. I think I do want to evolve Double Grill just in case he gusts one so I can get evolved faster. Evolution. Even if it might make sense to evolve other things. Even having Grill on hand, though, I think it does make sense to evolve Double Grill. Okay. Here we go! This feels pretty good right now. I am missing some energy I'd like to have. Other than that, I'm feeling alright. This is one matchup where Luxurious Cape would feel great. Or, I'm um, sorry, Hero's Cape would feel great. Sadly, it's not an option I have. Oh, wow. He didn't get an attack. Jeez. Do I boss a Minchino? I think I do. Or maybe I boss a Lugia? I also could just hit Snorlax. But I feel like the Minchinos are more of an issue than the Snorlax. I really don't care that much about the Snorlax. Might as well get a Rabska. Oh, Artisan. 
or Turtwig. A Rotal. Or I guess a Whimsicott. I think I boss a Minchino here, honestly. No, the problem with the Snorlax, I actually don't have much energy. So, the Snorlax could cause some issues. Because if it hits me, I actually can't heal. Because I don't have an energy to replace it. So I actually just knock out the Snorlax, I think. That's a oh, but he has Gift Energy attached, so I shouldn't have knocked that out. Yeah, he had Gift Energy attached, so I shouldn't have done that. Didn't even really think about Gift Energy. Yeah, I should have bossed fast. It's okay. The Rapska is really good. Yeah, it is for sure, because it knocks out a Chinchino. Yep. For sure. Boss Luga for sure. I didn't even see that in chat until I already not bossed. I probably should have bossed. Yeah, I forgot about Gift. The reason I didn't is I'm like, if he hits me with Snorlax, he could be too hitting me, which would be annoying. I kind of messed up my prize trade, but I definitely shouldn't have done that because I didn't want to activate Gift. So I should have bossed. I think I... It would be either Minchino or Lugia. I think maybe it would have been Lugia, but I'm not sure. It might have been Minchino. Collapsed. I guess I'll lose Cottony. It's probably not okay. You sure? Rapska, I want to keep. Yes, it is okay. He just pounds. Definitely want to boss pass. Well, Gift only gives him one card. I still think it's correct to boss pass it here, though. Just because that one card could matter. Okay, Torterra. Will I evolve? No, I won't. I'm just going to keep thinning. Turtwig. I think that. Uh, I don't know. It bossed. Weird. I could try to boss a Luminion if it ever puts one down. I'll boss a Lugia. And hit it for 150. Guess I could have attached a Maximum out considering it's not necessary in this matchup. Yeah. That's correct, XR. I think is a boss of Lugia. It's a weird choice, but I think that's right. Maybe, I definitely should have done that last turn, honestly. Jet, okay. Does he have the Chinchino? No, he doesn't have the Chinchino. Why didn't he at least call for family or something? Because I don't need this, I will attach it. And I'll just keep thinning Pokemon on my deck. The more Pokemon I remove, the better, I feel like. Do you have to activate Gift, but it only gets him one card anyway? I can't believe he's getting this poorly set up. I feel like Lugia post station generally does that. I was saying if I, I shouldn't have knocked out because it leaves him bench face. Yeah, that makes sense. Although... Yeah, I guess I could see that, not knocking out, just to leave him bench space. But I also need to get ahead on the prize trade pretty quickly, because I'm currently pretty behind on the prize trade, so I think what I did is fine. If I bring up Rabska here and try and knock him out with it, that doesn't sound like a terrible idea. Are all four Archaeops in the discard now? That's kind of funny, he has all four Archaeops in there. So what, he needs a bunch of energy to knock me out? It's kind of ridiculous how much energy he needs, actually. He needs five, I think. Which is a lot of energy to find. And one of the energy can be a double turbo. But no more than one. That seems really tough for him. You need the energy to start healing and reattaching. Yes, I do. That's for sure. I think I'll bring up Rapska here. 
and hope I find an entity. Bring up Rabska. Come on, come on, game! Okay, that couldn't find me energy. I'm gonna send some more out. Just send everything out of my deck if I can. And now Poke here. Arvin. That should be able to get me energy. I think I do have a vessel left. I might be wrong. I think I do have a vessel left. I do have a vessel left. There's an energy. Vessel away. Toad scroll. For double energy. That's Rabska. Knockout. <laughs> nice. Put him on odd prizes as well. This is looking really good. You got Ultra Ball. Kiss why I need a fear creator. What is why I need a fear creator? Having to bring up Rapska? I guess. I don't know. I feel like fear creators. I don't have enough bench space for a fear creator, is a problem. This deck has problems with bench space. So if I wanted to play a fear creator, I couldn't fit on the bench because this deck has very tight bench a lot of times. Should evolve that Tarquig. Yeah, I will next turn. I just put it down last turn. So 100% I'm going to evolve it, but I couldn't last turn because I put it down. Yeah, exactly. So, couldn't really evolve it. Attacking with another Chinchino? That means he can't really do much in just a sec. Because once I knock out that Chinchino, he's kind of got nothing. I don't know, that's fine. As long as I find energy. <laughs> Chances are I find an energy, but if I miss it, I could be in a tough position. Oh, thank goodness. Another girdle. Grodel for Torterra. Grodel for... I guess Reller. Because I need to fill my bench up. Patch. Iona. Easy. Yeah, right, XR? <laughs> and... Bang. I wouldn't be surprised if he attacks with Archeops here. I feel like that's kind of what he has to do. He brings up Lucia over Archeops? That seems wrong. Because <clears throat> if he hits me with Lucia, I just hit him out, hit him in return, and win. Or at least if he attacks the Archeops, um, he's attacking with a one prizer, and then he can two hit me that way. And hope I don't find an energy to respond. Okay, sure. I don't see what you're doing here. Because you knock me out, I just win by knocking me out in turn. Whereas if you could, he, if you had boss, you could hit, you could have boss knock out with Archeops. And then put down the Minchino and evolve it to Chinchino next turn. Like, I understand why he couldn't just knock me out with Archeops. And do kind of the same thing. They have to sh shoot their shot, Coach Kara. It's hard for them to do it again. You can tank them, didn't heal. Yep, exactly. Totally correct. Why, why attack with Lugia when I can just knock it out immediately after? That seems weird. So now I just have game, essentially. I'm, okay, he has 130 left. I do need to use Grodels. But I can just fill my bench. 
Or actually, there's not enough left to fill my bench, but I can get one less than filling my bench, and that's still enough. GG. Alright, I have about 10 minutes till the next round, which is actually a surprising amount. Alright, so, what has been doing well as of the end of round 7? Another base game you win, yep. So this is 7-0. It's a Stables Ard with Iron Hands and Mew yet. And it's 7-0. And it doesn't even have um, Roaring Move. It's just Iron Hands and Mewiax. I am kind of surprised this is doing well. Also got TM Crisis Punch despite already having Radiant Charizard. Like, that is kind of crazy, actually. I wouldn't expect an Iron Hands Sables R to be doing so well. But uh, maybe it's a better deck than I think it is. It just seems off. That's crazy. Because I got Prime Catcher as its ace spec, it's got a Manthe. Also, Spiritomb, why? Shuts off basic V abilities. What What is that for? I'm sure it's for something, but maybe it's against Zard or something? Again, I don't know what it's against. I really can't put my finger on what makes that so useful. It's somewhat helpful against Zard, but I don't think that's enough to just play it. I don't see the point in Spiritomb. What are the seven of matchups? Oh, okay. So right now it's fighting Chi and Pao in round 8, but it beat a Snorlax Stall, beat a Zard, beat Double Future Hands, beat another Zard, beat a Goldengo, and beat a Moon. So I thought I didn't fight too much variety in this matchup, but it was varied enough that it seems like I can beat a lot of stuff. Very interesting. It's kind of crazy. Second place is Chi and Pao! Has the mini on V. Which a lot of them don't play, but I, I like Luminion personally. It has three Chi and Pounds out of two. A lot of people play two, but this one plays three. This one's interesting in the fact that it plays a boss and a counter catcher. What's its ace spec? Wait a minute. What is its ace spec? Wait, 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 wait. Open as an itch. No ace spec? Fear Team can most of the time break out stall. Oh, that makes sense for stall. No A spec. What? What? I'm so confused. Why is there no A spec? I'm assuming he just didn't own A spec or something? But there's no A spec. The boss should be a prime catcher. But it's just a boss. Apparently, you don't need an A spec to do well in this format. At this point, he's 6 1 1. With no ace spec in his deck. What? <laughs> That's insane. Next up, Lug Lug. Lugia, this man's sweet. Blitto and his Pathra EX. What? <laughs> in Lugia? I guess it helps your Charizard matchup. What? 7 1 now? What? Just two basic psychic energy to go with the Aspathra EX. Energy retrieval should be Prime Catcher, gotcha. Or the boss. I feel like you just need a Prime Catcher and a Counter Catcher. I don't think you would cut the boss. I don't hate energy retrieval. That is crazy. What's this Charizard? Is it going to be another insane list? Y'all Fox V. That alone is pretty crazy. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, never mind. I was about to say, is this my list? No, it was not my list. But it looked pretty similar. The Pokemon line is quite similar to a list I've played before, but it's not the same. Anyway. Very interesting. Three Poffin. I really like four Poffin. But it does have two Nest Ball. Boss is fine. Yeah, boss is okay. I don't know if it's ever necessary, though. I mean, it's necessary sometimes, but I don't 
I'm not a huge fan of boss and prime catcher and counter catcher. I just like single prime catcher, single counter catcher. You don't need that much gust. Interesting. So the Del Fox V is helping. Let's see what I thought. Lots of mirrors. Lots of future hand, which is a very good matchup. I thought an Arceus. This is the Arceus I ID'd to when I shouldn't have. Actually, same player. Wait, this is 5 2, 6 2. Arceus Aerodactyl? What? I didn't, he fought against this? What? This is insane. What in the world? There's some crazy stuff doing well today. Guess that's what a new format causes. This? Okay, this is not surprising. Kinda wish I had boss, but I don't have space and it works fine without. Yeah, that makes sense. Um one poffin? Really? Only one poffin. Okay, maybe this list is a little bit surprising. Forest Seal Stone in Tina Lost Box is also surprising. Okay, I was acting like this wasn't surprising, but yeah, it's actually pretty surprising. Interesting. Okay. Got Lost Vacuum as well in Tia Lost Box. Okay. And that's that's a kind of weird list, but maybe it's good. I don't know what's good at this point. Looking at these lists, I'm like, how, but. This one has double Rotom B. Excuse me, double Rotom B? Like, what? That's so weird to me. Why double Rotom B? The one I was going to fight against today, but my, but didn't show up, also played double Rotom B. Is that a new thing? Like, isn't Luminion important? This one's also got Maximum Belt, which a lot of people are opting not to play. Personally, I like it, though. Turos is kind of weird. <sighs> Miss energy in the list is maybe okay. That's just not as surprising. Let's see this one. Double Rotom B. Is that the same guy? Double. What? Double Rotom B? What is happening? They're all playing Double Rotom B? What? I'm so confused. My mind is blown. How are all the ones that are doing well playing two Rotombi? What? I'm not used to this being... Are they the same list? Are they all the same list? I think they're all the exact same list. No, that one has an Eerie. That one doesn't have an Eerie. That one has an Eerie. These two I think are the exact same list. What? Okay, that is weird. Also, the one having Eerie is surprising. Okay, here's another 6-1. Arceus. Arceus, a whoa, 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 whoa. What am I looking at? Like, legitimately, what am I looking at? Arceus, Vulpix, right? Iron Hands, Delphox V, Huey X, Galvin Fiery X, 1-1 one, one Beaver L, Heat Radiant Heeran, You, I feel like you don't understand what people put these texts in. No, I literally don't. I'm so confused. I understand how people put, like, Eerie and Dazar. But the Double Rotom V, I mean, I know you put Double Rotom V for more consistency. But instead of Luminion, makes my mind blown. Because I feel like Luminion is needed way more than a second Rotom. And the chance of you prizing Rotom... If you're really worried about prizing Rotom, why not just play, like, a Heavy Ball? Like... I guess maybe Double Rotom is better because you don't have VIP anymore, so it kind of makes more sense. Anyway, now this one is a lot of stuff. I like it because it's just a lot of cool stuff, but I'm not so sure how consistent this is. I guess because the Arc deck, it doesn't need to be too consistent. And it seems like it's doing pretty well. So maybe this is better than I thought. It just looks kind of crazy. Definitely these lists, it's not that I completely didn't, don't understand what people put the text in. It's just that I'm very surprised they're using them instead of the traditional cards. I'm very surprised with how innovative 
this tournament is. Like, for instance, this path run on Lugia, I know it's for Charizard, but I wasn't expecting it. The boss, I understand. That's pretty obvious what it's for. I just don't think it's necessary, but maybe it's good. And then over here, this is just a surprising list, but I do think it's good as well. Considering it's doing well. But cause I was always thinking when I saw the hands, like, you can't play moon and hands together, or stables are. But you can play just hands instead of moon. Anyway, what's this? There's an other. Huh. Paradox box. I never liked the Hoopla EX, but it does want to hit an Arceus, which isn't bad. The rest of this makes some sense. Oh wait, there's an Espathra. I didn't even click on that. Just Espathra Scissor. At 6-2. Hmm. Our deck just works now. It doesn't matter what's in it. It just works. <laughs> yeah, I guess that makes sense. Sometimes it is like that. Although a lot of these Pokemon aren't Vs is what's funny. So you have to use the Armor Rouge to bring the Fire Energy from your Vs to them. Because the Pokemon themselves are not Vs. That's part of what makes it so crazy. Is that you're not even attacking with Vs a lot of the time. Ancient Box is 6-1. I think that's the last 6-1. Yep. And the next match is Beyond. I'm fighting Future Box. Or not future box, just hands box. Not even box, just um future hands, that's the term. Future hands. Um, I need to remove a friend. I feel like future hands is an okay matchup. It's not perfect, but if I can get set up, it's pretty good. Alright. I'm gonna send another request and I'll restart. This tournament is crazy. There's so many insane things doing well. And I might even make phase two with Torterra. Hey having to drop once I make phase two, but I definitely need to do so. You can hit a hands. Yes, you can want to hit a hands with max spell. Exactly. That's what's super useful. It's very powerful. As long as I get set up enough, I should win. But I definitely got to get set up because some of them, if my setup is too slow, this can be tough a matchup. As long as I don't get too far ahead, you should win. Exactly. Exactly. But they can set up fast. So it depends on how set up I get at the beginning. That's what it depends on. I think he's accepted my request, right? Yes, he has. Just gotta wait for him to re-log into the game. Is it here? Nope, still restarting, it looks like. Turn 1 TM Evo is very necessary. For sure, if I miss turn 1 TM Evo, I might just be behind too much. According to him, he plays only the coolest basic energy cards. <laughs> <laughs> we both got two mulligans. 
This is kind of a scary start. I think I start with the Turtwig. Mm, maybe it wasn't correct to start with the Turtwig now that I think about it. Keep the cottonies down for healing. Yep. So guess around for sure as much as possible, so be aware. Okay. Oh, I'm going first. I didn't even realize. Cottony. Oh, I've got a cottony prize. So I get a Revlor. Maybe I sh I gotta fill my bench, so I gotta get the Revlor. I do want to leave room for Cottonies. In fact, I don't think I'm gonna put down another Revlor just because of that. I think I'll attach the bench one in case he knocks out the active. Maybe, yeah. I, turn, I need to find a good old. I need to find a quick. Or an Arvin so I can TV though or something. That wouldn't be bad either. Gear. Okay. Get a boss. Alrighty. Now what? Am I gonna have a hard decision or something? They're just kind of sitting there. Boss, okay. Who's he bossing? Revelor. Why Revelor? Wouldn't it be better to go after Cottony or Turtwig? Revelor doesn't really do much for me in this matchup. Cottony at least allows me to heal. Maybe he doesn't know what the things do. It's very possible. Passes. Hmm. Do I slight intrusion for 30? Honestly, I don't hate that idea. Maybe I'll put another one down. Slight intrusion. Hopefully I can get set up soon. He's manly powering himself up, it looks like. What are my brutals, man? Arvin, thank goodness. So I can Evo TM now. Evo TM and... Uh, I guess like a vessel. Or I could get a gear to try and find another Arvin to get maximum belt. I don't hate that either. I think gear actually makes more sense, because if I can find maximum belt, I'm in a very good position. And that requires me to find another Arvin or an Iona. <laughs> yeah, I'll get gear. Patch. Evolution. Well, both of these. There we go. Okay. What you doing? What you doing? What you doing, man? What? No way he just passed. No way. Got a Rabska. Guess I'll get a Grudel, sure. And then I'll gear. I'll see if I can find Arvin. Yes! That's a maximum belt right there! Arvin. Maximum belt and vessel. Create. Evolve. Touch belt. Knockout. <laughs> oh! 
Oh my goodness. Well then. That is interesting. That's real interesting. <laughs> okay. Okay, he's more set up now, but I think I'm ahead enough that I still win. I don't think it's going to matter at this point. Apologies if you hear audio in the background. 180! And I can heal that all off. Nope, don't want to turn I almost did it. I'm going to do this. Let's just spin some Pokemon out. And now I'm going to get something just to get rid of. Toad Scroll, I don't need you. I haven't used Toad Scroll all tournament. There was one time I fought Chi and Pao, but I ended up having a prize, so I couldn't use it. Ball can use the ability. Wafting him. Catch. Force Mark for KO. I think I've just got game next turn, right? Game seems pretty much over at this point. Because technically you could take two knockouts with Iron Crown, but then I just win. Because he could Gust plus take two knockouts with Iron Crown. And I'm keep trying to take double knockouts with Iron Crown for a little while, and somehow I... Well, I had Turo in hand, so I can't really do that. Let's see Iono's as well. I don't know if I swear. He needs to Iono, Counter Catcher, Trap something for good. Double knockout and keep me trapped multiple turns. No way that happens. And he didn't even attach Iron Crown, so yeah, it's not happening. I think I just win. I think I've just got the game. Boss, unsurprisingly. If he has a lost vacuum in hand, I guess he can remove my tool. But then I just poke gear for a boss on the Mew. When I turn the wind's caught. Oh, you're right. I forgot about that. Thank you, Derek. I should have done that. You're right. That one been smarter. I forgot about that option. As you can tell, this is my first time playing the deck. Cause yeah, I didn't even think about that. Although actually, I might not have made sense because I'm gonna knock him out for game next turn. And actually, if I keep the Turo, it could help me because I can stop him from trying to boss stall me. So I think it was still correct not to Turo, but I actually probably could have done that in other games possibly that I didn't think of, maybe. Oh, I'm like, why is it 200? Because I put a Pokemon down, duh. Game. <laughs> Alright. Let me see. Yep. So, I make phase two. However, I do not have the time to play in phase two because I need to leave very soon to go to um, my locals. So I sadly have to drop from the tournament. However, that means I will be in the top 32 players guaranteed, which is cool. But I'm gonna have to leave the tournament. That was enjoyable. I'm glad to be with you guys. I will see you guys later, ending at a record of 61 and guaranteeing I will be in the top 32 players. Bye. I'm gonna wait 30 seconds at the end of the stream so it doesn't cut off because there's some glitch with that if I don't wait at the end.